Throw Gang. We are joined by Luke to the OG. <laughs> he got old clothes for you new hoes. He don't fuck. He only 6'9 the way he flipping. <laughs> the resale Raja. The Broom Street Big Dog. <laughs> Luke. I am your Pharrell <laughs> Louis plug. He gives great hand jobs with all the second hand, the vintage Viking, the Docs and Don Dada, Lord of the Listing, not talking gay sex when he, we say he got that trade. Yo, L, what up? I flip. What else? Plus chrome, say word. And we made a sale tonight. Founder of Luke's NYC, Luke Frazier. Luke, how the hell are you? That was good. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm well, thank you. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was like genuinely good. I think, you know, from the clips I've seen, I think you put a little more into it for me than you oh, do for most people. Oh, for sure. So One thousand. Only the best for I, the fucking I, homie, I, dude. I, I yeah. do appreciate that. The yeah. homies get the extra 30 <laughs> minutes of my <laughs> of my brain share. <laughs> like, all right, let me go You're not some version. fucking rapper, dude. Yeah. You're our resell Raja, just, which, to be clear, was reused from yeah, last time. I, that was I the just one. haven't gotten my demo to the right people. <laughs> 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 Slanging if it does look around the corner, I'm going to be out front. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, action. Yeah. Hey, can you listen to this? Is, is this tasty? When you <laughs> is this per- delicious? When you perjure yourself for the next two hours, you might have to change careers. Um, so, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, Luke, welcome. Lawrence. So great, to, <laughs> so great to see you. <laughs> the first thing we want to do is a little fit check with the fellas. Um, the choice for you, when you walk us through the totality of your fit today, do you want to start top down or bottom up? And I know you know the right answer because you already did this once before. I think it's bottom up. Right? That yes, is sir. correct. Okay. Um, well, first of all, full disclosure, you guys made me take my shoes off, so I don't have them on right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, Welcome to a civilized household. Do you, yeah. not, do you not do shoes off? Um, in the store? Please take your shoes yeah. off. Yeah, when door. you walk into my space, you need to take your fucking shoes in off. In Japan, they take shoes off in the dressing rooms. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, if you have to try on pants, you need to take your shoes I, off. No, no, there's shoes on to just jam them. Yeah, through right. the pants, you know? <laughs> I need skinnier jeans. Yeah. Like, these aren't stretchy enough. This these Amiri's that, aren't fitting. That's my, that's, the, that's my gauge when I try on pants. Can nice. I get my shoes through it? Like that's why you're wearing the. Well, not, no spoilers. <laughs> All, right, yeah. mind. All right. All right. Let's get into it. Um, vintage. I guess vintage is hard to get. You know, like, uh, what is vintage? 10 years? I think like 15, but okay. it's such like a fluid thing. You know, like, I mm. think it could kind of be. Vintage like gender is fluid. Yeah, um, like sexuality. You heard it here first. It is. Wait, sexuality is, fl- so is you gender got, so you also the, fluid? You got the they, them, Pradas on? <laughs> <laughs> I got the, the they, the, them I, cups? <laughs> I do. Um, in the nastiest colorway I could find, chocolate over gray. Yeah. Is that um, a rare rare colorway? I mean, I think like they just made the so many browns. horrible <laughs> colorways in the early 2000s, and I like have been looking for a pair of cups for a long time, and I like luckily just found like the worst colorway possible that mm. looked like like bowling, like yeah, yeah, master yeah. shoes for sure. Like, giving, if, a cl- like if a clown went bowling, he would wear right. It. Yeah, like if so a clown Brown took America's a Soul cups. Cycle class, this is yeah. what he would wear. Exactly. Yeah, you wear in your cups when you go Soul Cycle. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. No, I'm not in Soul <laughs> Cycle. Come on. No cardio. <laughs> do you do you climb in America's cups? <laughs> I climb in in rock climbing shoes, which yeah. are like really oh, ugly. I think that's pretty close to an America's cup. It's Kinda, like a yeah. Well, it's a sailing yeah. shoe. Isn't it? It's for yachting. It's for the actual for yachting. We're going yachting. Yachting. Fat Joe reference. <laughs> I don't, I'm not hip. Wait, Fat Joe. I thought it was DJ Khaled. Who's the no, yachting one? Fat oh, Joe golfing. Is, uh, Wait, so you're telling me Khaled stole "Let's Go Golfing"? He from stole Fat Joe's whole flow. Wow, Terror Squad, not the same. I know, I know. he should have checked him. He couldn't do that to Remy though. <laughs> <laughs> She's That's, still not taking any. She was Pap- fucking Pap- 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 gonna have a green light you see on a him. Fucking size eight fitted coming <laughs> straight for you. <laughs> Throwing like odd job in fucking exactly. James Bond, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wait, um, hold on, real quick. Can you clarify one thing for me? You used the term "nasty" just now to describe the cups. You use it a lot of reels. When you say nasty, you mean so bad that it's good, right? Yeah, just like disgusting. Okay. But mm. like that's so much of I think like the direction that shit's going is like, you know, everyone dresses like a little nasty right now. <laughs> just the you freakiest know? Like, shit yeah, possible. Yeah, it's like well, and I can get into this because I have a full like thesis on like the where the trend yeah. for the summer's uh, going. And shit. If only you were on a podcast or <laughs> yeah. something where you could. <laughs> we'll circle back. Yeah, have your people call my. <laughs> yeah, people yeah, we'll, we'll circle back and talk about yeah, it. We'll double click on that. Um, so I have. Sale socks from um, Macy's. Okay, these just, are I, Yo, I, dude. They're looking rough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this is the first time I've worn them. They're just like complete what? pieces of they're shit. They're falling apart they're on the first. You wear. bought them like this? <laughs> these are the cheapest socks I could get off Macy's. <laughs> these are because I'm getting socks made. So I'm like, these, these are oh. these are a placeholder, merely a placeholder. Wait, like what do you mean Luke's you're getting and, socks made? Yeah, I mean like Luke's, Luke's socks made. Yeah. Oh, got it, got yeah. it. I still wear my round two well, socks those, that you sent those me. Those socks are like the best socks ever made. And so, so are these the only socks you own right now? Um, I threw all my other socks these away. These piece of shit yeah. fucking this is also, These are one wear you throw them away. So. Yeah. Speaking like, of Fat like Joe. Fat Joe. Yeah. One normal wear, one wear to the gym, and they're in the trash. Yeah. Okay. It's like a white tee. <laughs> all right, so uh, RIP to those guys because right, this so, is it for them. Um, Balenciaga, Made in Voyage. The, like, 
the dirt like Sophie, you know, coochie cutter shorts. Yeah, that are like that's a three inch cut. inseam, maybe. Yeah, maybe. are the cheeks hanging? Nah, because <laughs> my shit be it's like perky, you know. Oh, Your right, ass. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we gonna see you in a speedo this summer? Um, if if I make my way out to Fort Tilden potentially. Oh hell yeah! Oh, so we're going Fort Tilden, not Jacob Reese. Um, is the Fort Tilden the one where you have the titties out? That's Jacob Reese. Oh, uh, well, then I've been fucking misled. I was wondering why no one was topless. <laughs> like, where are all the titties? Yeah, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? I'm Fort- in fucking the worst part of Brooklyn for no reason. <laughs> Fort Tilden is like the hipster. I was told there'd be titties. <laughs> Fort Tilden is like the hipster shit with like people with like radish tattoos. And then Jacob Reese is like the queer BIPOC. <laughs> they are radish tattoos? Yeah, yeah, like, like chefs and shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, line um, cook. Line cook I felt really bad. We went to Tilden and, you know, the Nutcracker guy's there. Yeah. And I bought a Nutcracker from him. And then two minutes later, the cops put up on him and arrested oh, him. Oh, no. <laughs> I was I, like, I hope damn. they didn't see me buying the shit. Oh, damn. shit, dude. Did he call think call you were six fucking nine. undercover? No, I don't think so. I don't give undercover. Call him 6 9 the way he'd be flipping. Exactly. <laughs> damn, dude. Well, um, at least you right, got, so you got the the Balenci booty shorts on. Yeah. Shorts, polo, um, Boxer briefs. Nice. Jaws. The high cuts. Mm-hmm. Um, vintage Prodigy Firestarter shirt from my good bloke friends at um, Duke's Cover. Yeah. yeah. yeah like they did the pop up yeah, uh, when you were out of town. Yeah. They, they had a they, residency. They gave, me, they gave me a reason to go out of town, which was nice. nice. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, are we going to see more of that? Like residencies, pop ups within Luke's itself? Because that was a fire fucking link up. I yeah. Mean, that was like. They're the blokes. I think if like anyone watching this like wants to do a pop up, I'm going to charge you money. Just oh really? So you no, know. yeah, rent. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly like, what it costs for like what I would make on a Friday. You're Saturday. your landlord era. <laughs> you know. Wait, what's your biggest day? Typically, it's got to be Saturday. No, right? it's weird because like you would excuse, you would assume it's Saturday, yeah. but like a lot of the times it'll be like a Wednesday or a Thursday, and then like Friday, Saturday are kind of slow because everyone's like. I guess out drinking or doing whatever, and then Sunday is like busier. So huh, really? It can, or like it's it's so far, it's like it's a lot harder to tell than it was at the old business because okay. like it just I don't know. It's, it seems very hit or miss. But you're, you're about st- to be, you're about to have your first summer as Luke. Exactly. Yeah. We're about to go so and I think let's say the ninth tomorrow is yeah. my sixth month in the oh, space. Congrats, oh wow, Thank dude! You. Yeah, so, fucking congrats are uh, in order. I'm ex- you know I'm ex- I'm just interested to see how the yeah. summer is. Yeah, and especially like with how insane that block. is. Is with yeah, like absolutely. Dudley's skin contact, last Jeb lab. Wine. <laughs> um, Jim's right there. Multiple fucking different right. types of skin contact. Tin, if you catch my drift, oh, you know the fucking yeah. Tin <laughs> Bells is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bumping peepees. Bongos <laughs> is getting re like got reinvented into Bar Valentina. Which we're gonna we're gonna talk cool. LES and like the yeah, Bozo yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking okay, HQs okay. and everything. But, but we're like, in the uh, the the uh, data gathering phase uh, of Luke's right now. Okay. Six yeah. months in. Yeah, exactly. To I still because I still don't really hits, know like doesn't. who my customers necessarily are. Oh, well, because let me delete this question. No, 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 no. We would I would like to get some early impressions. But anyway, so we got the Prodigy Vintage T. Balenciaga fake polo. Yeah. Um, and then Horsepower. The, the LV. Um, That's LV? Yeah. I thought it was like Ed Hardy, dude. No, it's, <laughs> well, I think it's, um, I think Virgil like referenced, like, what's the dude's name? Clayton, the artist who's always, like, who sells those hats and the lower, you know what I'm talking about? I don't about? know. Um, so, yes, yeah, this is LV. I had like, I have a, I had a brand new one and then we found the like super fucked up one off eBay and I bought the shit. I was like, the smoke one. Give me the cooked one. Yeah, the smoked yeah, shit exactly. for sure. Because that's like a brisket. I want my hat like a brisket. I want all my clothes as Jiggly. fucked up as possible. <laughs> that cap is falling off the damn bone. I want exactly. that smoke ring on my cap. <laughs> exactly. It's not raw, it's a smoke ring. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, you guys don't know anything about real barbecue. Let's talk about the hardware, dude. Okay. Um, I got my little chain. Um, no Homer. Um, <laughs> it's in the shop. Okay. Did did you lend it to, to uh, Kendall Roy? Um, <laughs> L to the OG. He uh, he's the dude from Succession, right? Yes. Yeah, I've never watched Jeremy it. Strong. Okay, yeah, I've never watched that show, but um, he wore a Homer. So no Homer. So you got I saw, I saw that. I saw. You got, you got I saw little it. pendants. What yeah. is that? Um, I got a little. little uh, I got a little a regular Jesus piece, which is an if and coach. I actually bought off a dude back in the day at R two. He's like, you buy jewelry, and I'm like, what do you got? Yeah, you know, it depends. Like, oh yeah. Um, and then uh, Jesus Malverde, which Tommy Jewels made for me. Um, and then this little Hugo's guy, right? Um. I believe, so. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a good dude. He like, yeah. deals with a lot. Like every time I go in there, I see someone I know sure. talking to him. So he's like the man down here. And then this little like I don't know what the fuck this really is. My mom like made it for me oh, one year for um, you know, like Christmas. Two years ago when you're on the pod, you had a Ben you had just bought a Ben Baller chain. Where's um, the Ben Baller chain at? I think this is the I think it was this. It was really? This, this little guy, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Were you picturing something a bigger, a bigger yes. piece, like a, <laughs> um, like a fucking iced out ape or something? <laughs> yeah, well, so was, he's got Freddie Gibbs's G, dude. <laughs> I got my, uh, I got my, uh, my NFT, hey, my board ape getting made. Yeah, 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 right, right. right now. Um, and then I have my uh, this. Fucking, I mean, the, come the on, bro. Let's talk about my it real Nautilus, quick. Nautilus, um, thirty-seven hundred J, eighties, I think, with like 
ceramic. Are you style. worried wearing that in public? Um, I don't like wear it out that often, to be honest. Just on special occasions, but like that, a podcast. Right. Yeah, exactly. Just because because that's know. like, I mean, we don't need to like be super gauche, but like that's a fucking watch, bro. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just like. I don't know. Something like. I hope I, hope I don't get Something murdered. Something like I, I hope I don't get murdered for it. What about yeah. that? Is that a watch on the another watch on so the like Fitbit? Fit oh. Bit. Yeah, I'm a big Fitbit guy. Um, and then um, this little Cuban bracelet, which is also from Tommy. And then um, my parents, I think I had this on last time. My parents are like Buddhists, so they got this spool of fabric. Um, Blessed by the Dalai Lama, pre tongue kissing children. Right, 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 right. Full disclosure. Damn, your your um, mom didn't have to make out with him to, to get it to well, get the spool. Well, that was you know decades ago. Yeah, you're gonna get yourself. Yeah, a, she was much younger. Yeah, that's what I'm Are you gonna get yourself a, a post tongue kissing little boy yeah. bracelet? Because um, that no. could be worth something. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, but like, isn't like every Dalai Lama the same dude? Because it's just a reincarnation of the same. Apparently, yes. yeah. So like, that's what I hear. That's what yeah. they say. So I guess in that's the word on the street. In a yeah. past life, in a past life, you must have been Greek. Um, <laughs> or. You know, we are in a Catholic neighborhood. Yeah, Oof. that's true. A lot of one or the other. Uh, anyway. uh, <laughs> yeah, we are. It is Catholic. It is yeah, Catholic. Right? Polish yeah. people Catholic? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. There's like, uh, who's the Polish Pope? John Paul II or some shit? There's a lot of um, portraits that was of him John Paul Gaultier. <laughs> <laughs> The one he was wearing, the one wearing the mesh tops. He's, exactly, and he's the, the, the Pope the, of IG thoughts, yeah. dude. In the G wagon, in the in the bulletproof G wagon. What yeah. if the Pope was gay? <laughs> um, and you're sipping on Greenpoint's finest. Yep. Is that a complete fit check? Sorry, do you miss anything? Nose ring? You want to talk nose ring? Um, it's made of gold. Okay. Um, <laughs> like gold. <laughs> okay. And I got my little queer bait um, mm -hmm. hoop. Yep. Join I, the fucking club, I baby. Think, we all um, got them. I think I'm a little too old for the dangle, and I think just like I see like. The well, the dangles. hoop is what's the the hoop has replaced the dangle. Just as like the the. You know, omnipresent fucking uh, dude. Yeah, because yeah, now you see a dangle and you're like, this fucking dickhead. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I'm sure you people were saying about me when I was wearing it, but right. now I'm able to like. You know. Well, the dangles like probably like guys that listen to the bar store that are like, oh, like I'm the cool guy. You think so? Yeah. Dude. I th I think like there are, there's a huge contingent of that, and obviously as we talk about the downtown dudes of like mm -hmm. dudes who are like the coolest bro or the coolest guy out of their frat at Auburn. Right, you know, right, right. Like, uh, it feels like a dangle day at this date, <laughs> at this darty. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. You a know, darty like, dangle? <laughs> but I think, you know, even like... But they're not rocking a chrome dangle. I mean, you don't know, but like... No, like, like a fake pearl shit. Yeah. yeah. Or like just like a little gold one. Yeah. But, you know, like the ubiquity of like podcasts and like, you know, like you guys make the world that we are in very accessible for people. That's fair. Um, and so like... You know, it like gives people who aspire to live a sort of lifestyle or like be a part of a scene, and like the ability for to cosplay to figure out how to do it. Yeah, exactly. yeah for right. sure. It gives like a the good, cheat codes are being available. A right good now. roadmap to like, <laughs> yeah. you know, at least seeming cool enough until you get in the like until a you roadmap to capping. Yeah. <laughs> Though I don't know if we ever co-sign danglies per se. Because I think, app? yeah, yeah, a capette. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you've been co-signing Danglies, you know, nah, cause in the ether. Because they came up, maybe, maybe like a, a Dangle. Our boy Jason. Jay rocks one, but Our that's about Jay it. boy Jay rocks one, but he's a cool black guy. Yeah. And, uh, versus yeah. like the TikTok. I think it was yeah, a trickle yeah, yeah. up from TikTok, from like TikTok boys. The TikTok, I mean, like, uh, the thing is, I'm not on TikTok enough to see whether or not like stuff is selling is trendy because of TikTok, but I'm sure like. You know, I'm buying stuff. I'm like, well, I don't know why that's sold, but it's like, you know. Or yeah. it's a chicken or the egg. Like, is it trendy because it's on TikTok or is it on TikTok because it's trendy? Right? Well, I think it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Absolutely. You know, like. And it's there's a snake a sucking its own dick. Yeah, exactly. It's the Dalai Lama sucking don't, his own <laughs> dick. <laughs> don't don't tread on this trend. All right? yeah. <laughs> Hell all right, yeah. Uh, Luke, shall we get into the meat and potatoes of the podcast? Please. So six months tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How is Luke's NYC? Which what's the address, real quick? Two six one Broom Street one zero 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 two. Go visit. Lock you in. got a buzz, it's, right? Yeah, buzz in. Come see me. Come see Crispy. Come see Mateen. Come see Matan. Come see Nate. Come see all of us. How is Luke's NYC differentiated from the competition? Like, what's the lane that you chose with Luke's, uh, you know, now that we're six months in? I mean, you know, the, like, elevator pitch is, like, it's just shit that I think is cool. Like, mm. It's not a vintage store. It's not a sneaker store. It's not. It's just, like, a resale store, but it's, like, what is the curation? It's just, like, shit that I think is cool. Okay. Like, there's plenty of stuff that comes in that I could easily sell and make money on, but, like, I don't want this in my Damn. store. So it's, like, a reseller with principles. Oh, wow. Man's got to have a code. Taste. Curation. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like, not all money is good money and not all product is good product, That's whether or not it's going to sell. So I think it's important to, like, you know, like, that's that's the easiest way for me to like, you know, put my voice out there, put myself out there. It's like I'm yeah. not necessarily a creative per se, but that mm -hmm. is a way for me to express my view of the world. Right. Your taste level, like James is saying, like yeah. that's you putting your stamp on a variety of different for sure. And like I'm not even saying that I have trends. good taste, but it's just like it's stuff specific. That I think is cool. Yeah, it stands out. Yeah, it's differentiated. 
is there a brand or specific thing that like people are always trying to push on you to like sell or trade or, or for you to buy from them? I mean, that is just you're just always just like no, yeah, like this is not. No I mean, policy. people like ask me about like, um, you know, like Hellstar sells at all these fucking resale stores in New York right now. Um, which is like a brand. I don't know if you guys. What the fuck is it's Hellstar? Like, it's like I, the dude. Actually, <laughs> Sounds awesome. I actually know the guys who run it out of LA, and they're all fucking really cool, and they're good friends of mine. But it's like sounds kind like, of an like LA brand. a post V loan brand, like you know, with like the cropped, like distressed hoodies. Okay. And like a lot of the resale stores in New York are selling it. And people is it are expensive like, at retail? Um, retail I think it's like me? one of those like hundred fifty dollar T shirt, mm. like three hundred dollar hoodie that you sells know, out, like, and the only way to get it is from a guy potentially correct, like you. You know. Um, and so people are always asking me about that. It's like it's just like doesn't really fit into the ethos mm. of my brand per se. Um, Do you feel like you have to like continuously study up on like what's happening so that it, it, even if it doesn't fit into your specific arena of taste, like maybe it is just a, a fucking place to make some more rev- some more money? Um, yeah, but it's like I also have such a small space until e-com launches. Like I have to, you know, like yeah, choose. It is tiny. You, you know, and picky. like it's also since every item is one of one, it's very like human and capital and time intensive to list an item so mm-hmm. it's like capital is this, with a ca- uh, <laughs> it's das like, capital, it's capital. Yeah, exactly. uh, people are like Yo, you got capital i'm like yeah i have capital <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah shut the fuck up yeah I, I over there um, <laughs> i'm not buzzing you next time <laughs> i i have the bone jeans that's yeah. what you're asking um <laughs> but you know like so i kind of have to like pick and choose my battles whether it's like you know, like I might only make fifty bucks on this item, but I know it'll sell in a second, and it's right. worth the fifteen minutes of paying someone to list it and be yeah. able to do this shit. You know, or like there's other side of things too, where it's like I just I know this will look good on socials. Like the most mm. liked thing that I put up and that I can remember recently is that fucking the Travis Scott Ben Trill camo shirt. Oh, you know? that's and I, iconic, and I dude. Bought that and I was like, this is mad funny. Like I'm gonna put this on the Instagram. I bet you it's gonna go crazy. And it got like you know I have it got like ten percent of my. <laughs> followers and likes, which is crazy. Did you do a, a swipe in the gallery to like the iconic pick of like Jown, Matt Williams, no, Trav, I did, and Verge? The, icon, I, I, the swipe was to the uh, the This Is History right here. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, so yes, the, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like from Uncut Gems, yeah, you know, yeah. like fucking memeing and shit. You know, we can get to that as well. But what? So like, I've always kind of been curious to see when Bintrell has like its return moment. Like, is Bintrell about to be back? Well, it's like you asking me about fucking um, Hellstar, like. No, fucking Pyrex. Oh, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to be on the cusp there. Yeah, but like, I th- well, I, th- I think like that blog house era is, m- you know, might be a year or two out, but it's going to, you okay. know, like Franelation's Givenchy, you know, good TC Givenchy. Oh, like, yeah. like the fucking, Birds wait, like the, 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 the thigh, the, yeah, and you know, like the thigh, the thigh high forces. <laughs> I buy all that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm wearing those right now. That's nasty, dude. That's some nasty yeah. shit, bro. That is a, a very devious fit. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> girls in the thigh high forces uh, definitely had that gooey grippy. Tell you um, that. Yeah. Can it, Keep them on can, during sex, ladies. Can confirm. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, yeah, the, the thigh high uh, TC stay on during sex. Yes, thank the, you. The smokes yeah. thigh high. <laughs> White forces. So we're gonna see like Rottweilers and sharks and shit. Sharks. I mean, like I think like rugby is like gonna make a big comeback. Ooh. Polo. Um, Shout out Dipset. Like, yeah, like like like, like uh, Glow Gang era type shit. I mean, is that I would, gonna have kids out here dressed like Keith again. I would like to. You know, like I bought out if some with some people have brought me like the Keith Montclairs. I'm like, yeah, I'll take this for, for sure. I mean, Yo, Vinny, Glow, Glow Gang didn't Glow Gang uh, collab with Ben Trill. Um, I don't. No, know. they had a free. There was the free Keith shirt. Was the big yeah. one that they did. But I mean, Vinny, like, I remember I was like going through the back room of Vinny 4G's thing one time and I was like, oh, this is like the Chief Keep polo. And he was like, no, this is like apparently like the Chief Keep polo. Oh, Whoa, the one he, he has wore. the game And board? I was like, what's the provenance? And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, well, what the <laughs> fuck, dog? Like, but, you know, That's like what some guys said, <laughs> but like, you know, like those, those things are like culturally important, like for sure. to like for people sure. like us, you know, Absolutely. like obviously, you know, what, the Chief Keep polo. What, what we all do the. is not actually important in the grand scheme of the world or like sure. society but agree like to the hard people, agree the people who <laughs> yeah. care about this like these things are important yeah. and it's like i think important for us to like tell these stories and like yeah. you know like you gotta bring, literally put that shit in the rafters yeah, yeah. but it's like yeah i think Benjamin's all cultures need their own historians right yeah you're like uh what's his name herodotes or some shit you know <laughs> yeah like, that's homer and herodotes yeah, exactly <laughs> the fuck you call me a lot of <laughs> a lot of oral history here yeah. oh yeah <laughs> that's oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what other, so what other brands do you think are, like, about to be on the rise? We I mentioned like, TC, okay. Era, Givenchy, you yep. know, like, Ben Trill, um, I think Pyrex, um, Polo, Rugby, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, you're seeing this just, like, you're getting the inklings and the this trickles. This is just, like, of, like, what I think, like, like, 
I'm like, oh, like I'm starting to think about this stuff. Okay. So I'm like, and I think I'm like pretty prescient. Like, well, I just think my I, I'm I'm super tapped into the zeitgeist in a weird way that a lot of people maybe aren't or like yeah just because I'm I live on the internet you know like yeah, you're I'm, in the trenches like, too you know I'm, but I'm also outside dealing with people mm-hmm. all the time so I'm like in a special place where like you know like I don't have like a real job so it's like my fucking life is spent in these like you know doing all these things and like I'm like yeah you know. what's your screen time um like ten and a half hours okay. woo it's pretty good double digits you wearing blue light fucking lenses fuck no oh speaking of which what were the what's the shades in the bag from the fit check uh, Balenciaga. Both? Both, yeah, of course. Um, Balenci, but Blue. I think I think the Cartier has got uh, the blue light in them, and I wear them at night. <laughs> you I, think? Because uh, because they I'd have, like to think. How yeah. about that? That's blue point. translucent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the transitions get darker when <laughs> I'm on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you told me these glasses are trans. Um, what brands are cooked right now? Do you think, or about Ooh. to be fucking rinsed? Um, yeah, let's get ahead of some fucking allegations here. Huh, that's a good question. I need like 30 seconds to actually sit here and think about that's that. That's fine, dude. We you can, know, like, I think... I mean, is still going strong, yeah, it, I think, allegedly. Um, like, newer Givenchy is kind of whatever. The Matt you know, like, Williams I think, I think, Givenchy? Yeah, I think a lot of brands... Is there that, a demand for that? Not really. It's a yeah. Thing. Like, I think a lot of brands that, like, don't have a strong brand identity. And, like, and that's, I think, probably Matthew's biggest issue with Givenchy was, like, what... Like, if you think of, like, Givenchy from the fucking... 90s there's nothing to think about like, right we don't know what the fuck that you shit go looks right like. to watch the throne yeah and so like but <laughs> yeah, it's like so, how do you, so like if the whole brand's ethos was built up by an identity was built up by the designer before you how do you fucking reinvent something without just completely yeah. ripping that off like big shoes and, to fill exactly and so like big I think, forces i think to that fill. <laughs> did a really did the best job he could have sure. but you know like it's a, it's a very difficult role to follow like if anyone whoever follows dinma is gonna fucking have the worst time on earth trying yeah. to fucking redo balenciaga yeah. you well, know like because Dima has such a strong identity. So then, real quick, what do you think of Vet and what his brother is doing? Well, kids like it. Yeah? yeah, I don't fucking care about it. You know, like the funny thing about like Vet being like this crazy thing that like all the opium kids and like yeah, that's like one of my best selling brands. And I'm like, bro, like this shit was on sale at opening ceremony five years ago. I was in that motherfucker Less. laughing. At yeah, it. yeah, like I'm, I remember being like, all right, this dumbass shit. Like, let's go to the, place. <laughs> the go comeback to the there. Store, you know, like, that I've like seen mainly because of like because I follow you. To me, I was like, whoa. I didn't realize that, like, because Balenciaga, Balenciaga obviously still cooking, but, like, I feel like the kid who has, like, if it was, like, you could have rare rare, rare Balenci or rare, rare vet, the vet kid is cooler. Yeah, and I think, well, I think there's also a lot less of the vet. Sure. Um, and a lot of it was really, really worn in when it came out, so finding clean vet is really oh, yeah. difficult. You know, like, a lot. Just torched, like, <laughs> yeah, because, like, like the bridges all, you're burning, dude. It was, like, dude. downtown <laughs> kids wearing it. Like, we're, like, with Balenciaga, like, Adults were buying that, you right. know, like like 40, 50 year olds were still. All the buying vet is just covered in ketamine and model was, pussy yeah, juice. That was like <laughs> legit, like for like model squirt. Exactly though, like <laughs> seriously, you know, like so. I, you never see fucking like dead stock. How much money do you spend on dry cleaning a month? Um, in the it, thousands. It, yes. What's yes. the grossest thing you've seen? Blood, cum. Spit. Well, you trying to think about it, you just put it in the bag. Okay. Yeah. But also <laughs> Throw it in, like, in the bag. The bag. <laughs> uh, um, Has yeah, Fabulous I, ever come to Luke's NYC? Huh? Has Fabulous ever come to Luke's NYC? No, but he used to come to R2, and I can tell you that he is a, a really sweet guy, and he's someone who, like, if you meet him, like, if he met y'all, you know, today, if you saw him in, like, five years, he'd be like, Lawrence, James, how are you? That's he, like, awesome, remembers dude. everybody's ASAP name. ASAP first style. And that's something, I think that's, like, a skill you can learn. And yeah. probably one you autism. should learn. <laughs> I don't, Fab doesn't strike me as autistic. What do you think of his fits? Because to Unks, he's literally I think like, he's God. Like, I love people who dress insane. You he's know, Shia like, LaBeouf for Unks. Yeah, he's the Unk God. <laughs> yeah, he's sick, you know, like. Like obviously it's horrible, but it's like also like <laughs> yeah. it's so it's like it's sick. I'm like, damn, it's this so is, nasty. I'm like, yeah. This is so good. You know, like, <laughs> how do you find that shade of pink? Bro? Yeah, you know, like, like matching I, is next my, level. My constant state of being is just like troll. So it's like I love shit that people like get irked about. I'm like, this is so sick. You know, like, <laughs> this rocks. Yeah. Well, you do zig, you do zag when people zig, and you talked about how like you do spend ten and a half hours online. You're in these like weird pockets of the internet. Obviously, e-com is coming. Um, I know your, the Grail account is going crazy. Why do you decide to do retail in New York City specifically? Um, so I brick was, and mortar retail. First of all, you know, I spent a long time trying to like figure out. Like, I was like, I would like want to stop doing this. I got to figure out a new play. I got to like figure out, you know, like what to do with my life. And then you had a crossroads for real. I mean, yeah, like I wasn't happy at my old company for a long time for a plethora of reasons that we don't have to get into. But like I was always trying to like well, we'd love to, but <laughs> uh, you know, NDAs and shit. Um, 
And I was always like, oh, I want to do this. I want to go do something else. I wanted to do like a fucking CPG company. I wanted to do fucking, you know. I mean, you had Midori, right? Yeah, like I wanted to do like consumer packaged goods, like beverage. You know, I wanted to like figure something else out. And then I went to 4G's thing last year. And um, when he had his show, he opened a showroom. And like I said, I knew Vinny from Nightlife. I didn't yeah. know Vinny from Selling Clothes. So he's like, come to my showroom. And I was like, what the fuck do you have a showroom? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, where's all this shit? He's like, bro, I'm like the biggest real seller. I, was like, I did not know that, Vinny. Um, and I ran into Alex, who used to own Idol. Um, yeah. yeah. Cassidy. Yeah. In Williamsburg. Yeah. 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 Whatever the fuck he does say his name. Shout out Who's Alex. like a good friend of mine, you know, like a. I Let me say, say real quick, I used to see him in the grocery store, and it was so weird seeing this, like, Goth demon, like, yeah, like just like holding up two, like ca- two cans of beans. Yeah, like, which one do I yeah. want? Ketchup. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> buying organic beans in like a five thousand dollars CCP yeah. fucking yeah. leather drop exactly. crotch dragon on the floor, With metal elbow pads. But he was basically like, "Yo, like Grailed wants to do like a seller program where like you know, like you know get preferential treatment, mm-hmm. we'll put you on the splash page, you know, do all this." And I talked to my old business partner. And I was like, yo, like, they're like, we don't want to do this for the store. And I was like, well, I'm going to do under my name. And they're mm-hmm. like, all right. And I was like, all right. So I started doing that. And I realized that I was like good at the core tenant of the business, which is buying and selling shit. Like mm-hmm. buying shit that like we normally wouldn't buy in the store or like going out in the streets, people hitting me be like, oh, like you're buying now. You're buying like high end shit. Like, yeah, I'll cash you out. Da, da, da. And reselling and being like, oh, this is like easy. Like I know what <laughs> I'm doing again. This like, shit easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how y'all do that nine to five. Is, <laughs> yeah. Listen, we all got the same 24, man. Yeah. Also at the same time, like I, th- I think that you are a born fucking people guy. Like you are yeah. meant to be out here shaking babies, kissing hands, like having a retail physical space, brick and mortar is like in your fucking DNA, no? Well, it's I've been working I'm fucking 34. I've been working retail since I was 15. You yeah. know, like pretty much nonstop. I, I can like, fold a t-shirt. I have like fucking two decades doing this. But basically, so long story short, that was happening um and then I was talking to my buddy Mike who owns Kind Regards, mm-hmm. um, who owns Dingaling and then who owns Bongo, Ding-a-ling. which is all around the corner from the shop now. And I was kind of telling him, I was like, I don't know if I want to do a showroom, but I need th- I feel like I need a space. I don't know if I want to do it out here. I don't know if I want to do it in LA. And he was like, well, I think I have a space that you could find, which oh. is the space that we had, which oh, has shit. been, he's like, there's a spot in my building that's been vacant for like four years. Damn. And like, it looks like a bomb went off in there, <laughs> you know, but like, um, like I can maybe talk to the landlord if you want it. And I like went and saw it and I like, it took like four months to get the landlord even hit me back to like <laughs> give me the spot. But like Damn. the price was Must just been a real piece of shit was so cheap that right. like I couldn't say no to it, right. you know, like. Um, and it felt very serendipitous in the same way that the first R2 like worked out because the whole story with that was like this dude was giving up a space. It was so cheap we couldn't say no, and it grew from there. So right. I was like, this feels – like I feel like life is cyclical, you know? Yeah. And so like – Like I trends? Was, yeah, I was 24 when we started the first company. Ooh, I'm like ooh, 34, and I was 33. Ooh, I, was like, I feel like you know this is like – You're like, I read I, this script, yeah, literally. This, this feels like a second Wait a second, I'm wearing, bin tr- I'm wearing Bin Trill yeah, again? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Run it up. I had the fucking free Keef shirt on. <laughs> um, and it just felt like um, – it just felt like the right thing to do because, you know, like obviously I'd love to be in L.A., but like I also thought that there was more of a gap in the market for that type of th- store here just because L.A. has wasteland. It has like it's the first place in the country that Second Street started. So it has like their best talent there I, I believe, from what I've seen, you know, from the outside. Looking yeah. in. Um, and then just like more general resale stores because of Melrose, because of fucking whatever. It's like, and there's a lower barrier to entry to do business in LA than to, need to do Less in New York, in my yeah, opinion. Space. For sure. Yeah. That's so fair. I just, it just felt right and the space fell into my lap and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to run it. You know, like, fucking do it. And then like, you know, why have a brick and mortar as opposed to a showroom? It's like, well, you know, I, I'm a big proponent of like democratizing shit that sh- no barriers is, of entry that people think is too fucking besides cool. a buzzer outside the door exactly but it's like <laughs> you know like i um i just like I, like I like enjoying people i know brick and mortar retail a showroom felt kind of like, like you know just it Exclusionary, feels really it truly. feels like ostentatious for no reason a lot yeah. of times and for certain people like someone like justin or someone like right. Vinny, it makes sense because there's Someone's buying $100,000 worth of shit. Of course, they don't want to be in the fucking store. But, like, <laughs> I don't have that clientele. I don't really think I'm ever going to be able to attract that clientele because of the type of person I am. And I don't like... But R2 kind of had that clientele, right? Like, the did. Yachties and... It did it. Uh, yeah, it yeah. did when we started it. But then, like, you know, like, certain people are better with that type of person. So, like, okay. everyone started going to, like, Cool Kicks because it deals really good with those type of people. Or, like, mm. his whole team is really good with those type of people. And they're outside at poppy or fucking bootsy or whatever meeting those people and telling them to come in when like 
you know, I'm at fucking, you know, maybe at tenants or maybe at fucking, yeah, you yeah. know, like the friend. <laughs> I'm not going to run into like, Getting I don't weird. think the guy from LCD's house really gives a fuck about sneakers. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, James Murphy does not give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so. See, seeing what, seeing how like in your previous business round two, seeing its expansion and like maybe who say like what's next for it. Like, are you a little bit more like, do you see Luke's NYC really expanding and having multiple locations, bigger spaces, or do you kind of want to like well, maybe operate a different pace than what round two did? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really have any interest in like growing if it doesn't make sense, um, just for the sake of growing because I've, we've already done that already. Um, but like the other side of wanting the store is like intake. Like you can't really like intake at a showroom, right? Right. right. And so like really I want to scale this up into an e-com company with like two flagships like LA. Mm. New York, maybe like somewhere on continental Europe, just so I can do intake in Europe. Yeah, just so you can have an excuse. Yeah, to you want to just go on Paris? vacation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Paris would make sense, like in a way that London wouldn't, because now it's hard to get into like the UK because of Brexit and shit. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to bu- intake in continental Europe. Of course, so, you like, fucked up. Now you can't yeah. get for a Louis, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, something in the water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, "Yo, did you see the VA shit?" I'm like, "That's cool," but like, let's be fucking. Has it started hitting? Your store yet? No. Yeah, any of that merch? I don't no? even think it's sh- shipped yet. Oh, right? really? I mean, it I wasn't available you, at I the. I haven't seen anyone wearing it. Yeah, because no one can buy an eight hundred and fifty dollar t shirt. That's what I was like. This is cool, but I'm not really in a place to spend a thousand dollars on a t shirt yeah. that's not like a pock that can sell for the more money when I'm done with right, it. Right, know? right, right, right. So it sounds like everything's been serendipitous. Things have fallen in your lap, and you like you obviously believe in yourself and believe in like your track record speaks for itself. But was there any like fears or doubts or like what was the most daunting thing about striking out on your own? And separating yourself and doing it, you know, as the literal name and face of the company. Um, I mean, yeah, like I th- you definitely get in your head about shit, but like you know, like I had such a good. Um, it just felt like the right thing to do, and I had like you know, I have a strong team of people around me who like love me, care about me, and like are real with me, which I think is super important. No, yes, man. Um, no, I'm not into that. Maybe at just all. one. Um, <laughs> one. If you want to come hang out, just man. one. Um, <laughs> yeah, Luke, you should buy that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like. You or know, Hellstar. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Of course you, like, think about, like, those things, but it's just, like, I, it was, I was, it's, like, I was, I was so far in my wheelhouse, I was, like, this just, like, makes sense, you know, like, and I just, like, it didn't even, like, put that much insane thought into it. I was just, like, let's fucking just do it, right. you know, like. Was there any part of you that was, like, second guessing, like, all right, like, when I'm at R2, we have these other guys that have, like, huge public figures, like, or public personas as well. Like, I can take a step back if I want to, like, if I'm not feeling it. But, like, now it's your name's on the fucking door. Does it was any of that, like, all right, fuck. To me, that's Blast like a, off. No, like, to me, that's, like, a plus. Oh, you know? really? Like, it's a motivational force. Like, I'm like, all right, well, I have to fucking do this shit, you know? Mm. Like, I can't fucking take a day off. You right. Know? Like, Mom spaghetti. And I, and I kind of, like, <laughs> I kind of, like, need that type of structure, you know? Like, yeah. Otherwise, oh, for sure. Like, I need structure because I'm so fucking ADD and, like, you know, autistic. Or, 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 or you, it would be easy. You could be like, ah, Sean will do it. Chris will do it. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the I mean. staff will do it. I like to rely on myself because I've always felt like I'm, like, I know what's right and what's wrong. And so, like, not having to, like, talk to somebody else about those things or, like, discuss a decision. No red tape. Yeah, yeah exactly. Truly. I, I like to cut through the red tape. I want to drain. I wanted to drain the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Let me ask you this, and I don't know how much you can say because you mentioned NDAs and obviously relationships and everything. Why did Round Two New York close? Um, that happened after I left the company, so I can't really speak. Okay, that. yeah. What's up with Round Two in twenty twenty three? Like, how how's, how are they doing? Are you still homies with everyone over yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all love between everyone. I love Sean. I love Chris, um, Adam, Alex from the Vintage Store. Um, vintage Store is still open, correct? The one in LA is, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, and New York too, I think. No, no, you'll know. Oh, damn. I think you would know, dude. Um, But yeah. No, no, I'm pretty uh, sure it's still open, Luke, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Let's go right now. Yeah, let's go check. Um, No, it's all love, and like, I have a ton of respect and, you know, admiration for all those people. And do you think that the round two contraction, because like, obviously they blew up and they were the fucking, like, at at, at at the heart of of, like resale culture. Um, Do you think the contraction of round two is like a reflection of the resale market? I think it has a lot. Versus a bag fumble straight up. I think it has a lot to do with. The saturation of the market um, and then just the state of the economy. And like, it's like, you know, it's also like the commodity di- commoditization. Got it. Of, there it is. Of fucking, I don't know if that's it. Of t-shirts and shit. Uh, of fucking sneakers more <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. And like Supreme, you know, like it's like, that's why I want Those are the two major food groups for R2, sneakers and Supreme. Correct. Straight I mean, up. yeah, like okay. sneakers and streetwear, you know, which is like a big reason why I wanted to do this model or 
pivot to the model I'm doing because there's so much more nuance with higher end stuff and with yeah. used stuff and with archive or old stuff because like it's a about your curation but b it's like they're real it's like there's nowhere where you're just like oh this is what it's sold for it's like you know sneakers are now like st- like fucking trading like futures or something true exactly you know? it's like it's a financial barrels instrument of oil you know yeah. like yeah <laughs> so it's like that kind of took all the fun out of it but it's also just like the way that we all worked was more like on a ground level so it's like s- people like who have like a financial background can come in and like crunch numbers and right. figure out what the fuck to do you know Wait, taking the fun of that is interesting. You say that because, like, do you then feel partly responsible that you're like, damn, like, I fucking killed this thing that I loved? Oh, yeah. I mean, people got so pissed when I was on TikTok a few weeks ago and say that sneakers are, like, not cool anymore. And it's like, but it's like I, it's a symptom partly of what I and what the company I I founded did. You know, I think, like, not necessarily, like, us doing that, but, like, the, like, the people who like followed in our footsteps, who like mm. didn't really get it or didn't care about the stuff. The carpet baggers really that followed, yeah. Really yeah, mass yeah. marketed it or they, they were the fucking Boston Red Sox to Billy Beans Oakland A's. <laughs> sure. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sports. Saber, Saber metrics, bitch. <laughs> um Well I think like okay, so so <clears throat> the resale market really tying its horse to the Supreme cart with Supreme inevitably cooling off. And I know you talked to our boy Gallagher about it in the Wall, in the Wall Street Journal. My favorite you know, watermelon like, smasher. What's up, <laughs> Gallagher? <laughs> I know you talked to Rupert Murdoch's uh, favorite paper about it. Um, I just need to get in the post now. Yeah, yeah. And then you've like have all of Thanos's Infinity I know. Stones, <laughs> all the right wing media. Yeah. <laughs> Infinity Stones. The Next failing up, New York Times. The fucking failing. Uh, the only you know Breitbart had a fashion critic. Um, really? Yeah. I need the info. I need to get on the Infowars fashion side. Yo, yeah, that dude. would go crazy, dude. My boy AJ, <laughs> Daily Stormer, fucking, you know, <laughs> Nazis that's swag. Like, Some would say Nazis that's swag. I'm just reviewing Arteryx Leaf the entire time. Oh yeah, know? dude, <laughs> all the all the good shit. But okay, if, so we see that like the resale market with Supreme cooling off, like the trickle down is that like there's no demand, there's no there's, there's oversupply, no demand, et cetera, et cetera. What do you think about like Chrome and? Not necessarily you, but like, and not necessarily like people whose names we mentioned, but like, are they the new Supreme in the resale world? And is that truly something long term? Because they have been around for longer than Prime, but is that also maybe a bubble in the resale world? Um, I don't think that there's a bubble because Chrome controls their supply a lot better than other companies. And at the end of the day, like, it's not a publicly traded company. The Starks right. are already right. rich as fuck. So it's like, if the printable stops selling, they don't give a fuck because they're just going to continue to sell furniture and leather goods. Mm. Like, you know, like, they're just cashing in, in my opinion, now while they can, knowing this isn't Smartly last, so. probably not going to last forever. And they're just like, fuck it. Let's, like, if we can make an extra 50 M's in the next two years, let's do it. And then if the shit stops selling, we'll just stop making printables, make them limited again. And then, like, you mm-hmm. know, like, fucking go back to our core tenants. Do you personally wear any Chrome? And what do you think, like, in your heart of hearts about this kind of this? I- I think Chrome's brand. cool. Like, I I, I have a ton of respect for their craftsmanship and their quality. Like, I don't like necessarily wear it, but it's also just because like they don't. I don't know. Like, I just don't need a four thousand dollar pair of carpenter pants. <laughs> yeah, you know, true. like you get a Chrome nose ring. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could. I would. I actually want one. Like, I would. If they could, fire. I could Chrome nose. One. I actually, when I was still on my dangle era, I yeah. wanted, or I wanted like a Chrome hoop. I wanted Chrome the dome, gold, baby. The gro- the gold dick Chrome. Oh yeah. uh, hell dangle, yeah, dude! Like, they're expensive, you know. Yeah, ain't um, cheap. Chrome butt plug. Does that exist? Uh, I th- probably. For sure. I have a, yeah, I have I a Chrome does. binder in the shop right now. Really? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> sick. Love that. Yeah. What about so like in the resale world in general? Like, has anyone learned the lesson where it's like, oh, like preem, 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 supreme, supreme, supreme? People that are just like s- severely just tying themselves to the Chrome brand when that inevitably does maybe cool off a little bit. Like, have people not learned their lesson? Is just kind of is just how it's going to be? I don't want to speculate on other people's businesses. You mm. know, like just because like. Other people have it figured out or they don't, but it's right. like it's not like yeah. I'm not super worried about it. Like I think anyone who's worth their salt, who's a successful enough to like get have a ton of chrome and sell that shit and make money on it, like they're smart enough to pivot when yeah. when the writing's on the wall. Is that one of the fastest moving brands in Luke's? Chrome does well, yeah. Yeah. I what? mean, I, I also don't intake a lot of the ostentatious expensive chrome. Right. Like, so take it to junk. Like the teas and shit. Like Vinny or Justin, just because like it's a very capital intensive thing and it doesn't sell that fast for these super expensive shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of these guys are also diversifying their portfolios with Enfant Riche de Perme. So <laughs> you also got that. BRD. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like that's real fuckboy clothing. That's yeah. the worst brand of all time. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. No, I, don't, dude. I, I don't dislike ERD. I think it's like I, I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. 
it's ERD, ERL. ERL, <laughs> now, ERL is fucking terrible, but I'm surprised that ERD like even still exists because like at Grailed when I was there at a time that was like, yo, this kid Henry or whatever has the fucking juice. And I feel like I don't see it anymore it's, besides now resellers being like ERD runway. No, ERD sells. It's just like um, crazy. I mean, it's I mean, just like. Just like rich people clothing, it's just yeah. rock it's, like, it's, it's fake just, rock stars. It's really for rich children. It's like yeah. rich. It's like rich people streetwear. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's fair. Which yeah. is kind of what Chrome is too, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, okay. Fair. So we're six months into Luke's, and you said that you're still kind of like gaining your footing, like understanding like the data driven learnings. What's the average uniform of like the typical Luke's NYC shopper? Uh, the thing is, like, I try to sell a diverse enough like range of things where it's like there is no typical uniform you know it's like really there's like the streetwear kind of like r2 s customer all the way up to like you know the like older like gay couple who are wearing like really cool like couture balenciaga mm. you know like it kind of it's like the full spectrum and like to me that speaks really well to like our curation and just like the type of stuff we have that we can attract that many different types of people what about celebs what fucking celebs are coming to um i don't think i've really had any like celebs daily TV. i mean um Elijah Moore from the Jets came by. He's, mm. he's really fucking sweet. Um, but besides that, like, not not really, no. Okay. I've had, like, stylists come through. Mm. Um, but, yeah, like, Cardi B hasn't made it in yet. <laughs> not yet. She hasn't pulled up and blown not a bag? yet. No, not yet. Soon come. <laughs> you told, okay, you told us last time that Yachty dropped $4 million in one visit at round two. Like, I did not fucking say that. Yes, first. you did. You said yes, that on the did. record, brother. We checked. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that was a lie. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what the biggest spend has been in, in like one sitting at Luke's so far? Probably like five or six grand. Like okay. nothing insane. Oh, yeah. light. Yeah. Light. yeah. What were they what modest? They um, I don't know. A bunch of shit. Was it just a fucking normie? Was it assisted? Um, civilian. I, I think I got a stylist has come through and spent like four or five grand on like gallery department jeans and shit. You know. Ugh. What do we think of that? What is that, dude? Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Like How are they making so many hoodies? It's streetwear for rich people, bro. <laughs> is it? Fucking bell bottoms for rich people, dude. Yeah, exactly. How are they making all these fucking hoodies? I don't Did you get see it, that, dude. The Tosh tweet where he was yeah. like, these gays, like, they're not making enough fucking hoodies for all y'all to be having. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that shit is definitely getting booted, right? Like, they're definitely, I mean, galleries got to be like, yeah, they got to be mean, churning out fakes left and right. Well, the thing is, like, especially because, like, there's nothing really to it. So it's like, there's not like a fucking right. Montclair esque. Like RFID chip embedded in their fucking <laughs> no. LaFleur sweats, you know? Like it's like it's a fucking knitted tag in some fucking sweatpants that they like spray painted, you know? Like which is cool. Yeah. yeah. Make your make your own pair at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> DIY. Mm -hmm. Luke, we are kind of, I guess, in what you would call a post hype these world. Like there is no archetype of like, you know, preem, bogo. Like there's no uh, what about essentials, dudes? Okay. It's well, a little different. That, yeah. A little bit. That's more like a dad. Yeah. So what are the losers wearing these days? Is it a <laughs> is it is it essentials? Uh, oh, come on now. Yeah. We're asking you like as Shout as somebody. Jerry, bro. We're asking you as somebody. But we're asking you as somebody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Might want to marry a dude. Yeah. We're asking you as somebody that uh, is like boots on the ground in like the heart of Elias. Yeah. Right. Because we're there like every so often. We're not like fucking in the trenches. Uh huh. So we're asking you like, what are the losers wearing? Yeah. Break it. Like build a a, a whack fit. Um, of what you're seeing daily. Just something you're not comfortable in. How about that? That would be my political answer. Okay. Wow. That. Sucks. I wanted specifics, dude. Uh, you can you can well, go abstract without naming brands or hurting. Well, no, because I have to name fucking brands. You know, yeah. like I don't know. Like, listen, what are they wearing? Fucking Yeezys? They're wearing fucking Noah, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh damn! They're damn. wearing Noah. They're wearing our legacy. Damn. Wearing damn. damn. <laughs> so you do you think like that grown the grown just man streetwear like, like, guy is like a is a whack a whack wankster? No, <laughs> not necessarily. But it's just like. All that stuff is so fucking boring. You know, it's like, just go buy By polo. design. Like, but it's like, go buy fucking polo, you know? Like, okay, that's fair. Go to, like, the source, you know? Like, go, like, to the dude, like, the fucking Guido leather store on Orchard. Just buy, <laughs> yeah. like, trousers, you know? Like, yeah, 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 truly. Like, why are you, like... The store that's just called men's fashion. Buying, like, <laughs> like ill-fitting, like... Yeah. You know, like an ill-fitting pair of Noah trousers that has like a six-page blog post about why we have to charge you four fifty for it. It's like the most pretentious thing on fucking earth, you know? Like... Like, sorry, go like, off, brother. But it's like, like I that get type it. of shit irks me. It's like like have, trying to be like self important and like self actualize yourself when it's like we just live in a consumer culture and like if you make something that people want, people should fucking buy it. You know, they're just doing their part, man. I know. It's, yeah. So am I. But also, I don't have say, a role. <laughs> ain't no one want. Nobody wants a new Ralph. Like, you're talking about like vintage Ralph. I'm right? talking about like Ralph, yeah, like older Ralph. But like, there's not like there's new Ralph that's fine. You know, like fine. What about new J Crew? Um, shout out Chris Black and them. Um, <laughs> Are those the feelings you don't want to hurt? 
No, uh, J. Crew's cool. Like, it's fine. You know, it's like it's not for me, but like, I think it's less pretentious than a lot of brands that are aspiring to be a J. Crew. Okay. Or a okay. So when it I comes to like trends saying. that you want to see guys lean away from, is it kind of like the conformity to like the cool guy Instagram fucking explore page shit? Yeah, I think just like dress like your fucking self. You know, like I mean, obviously, like I still am like influenced by Who is social it? media, like all people, but. I'm more influenced by like people I see in the streets. I'm like, oh, that looks sweet. I'm gonna rip that off. You right, know? right, right. Or, absolutely. So trends to stay away from, like, yeah. I just think like, I just feel like people are dressing really fucking boring on purpose right now. Mm. I think Samba's fucking suck. <laughs> Thank um, you. Um, you know, even Adidas in general. But um, when you say boring, is it like you're dressing like everybody else, or is it like the stealth wealth shit where it's like muted fucking colorways? Yeah, like aesthetically like, boring or boring because like we can see five guys wearing the same fit. In I, the think, span of 10 I think I think in both of those. Yeah, you okay. know, like aesthetically boring, but also just like boring, um, like because like dog, like <laughs> you know, you're fucking wearing an essentials tracksuit. You know? <laughs> What's the most bozo shit? Being the fucking mayor of Room Street, now that you're in the heart of LES, like, what's the most bozo shit you see just on the daily? Forget, like, fits aside. Yeah. Is it just, like, fucking people that can't handle their liquor? I mean, yeah, like, I've seen, like, you know, like, people who are... It's, there's really not that much insane shit going on, you know? Like, surprisingly, for the amount of J's that are, like, over on Eldridge Street, mm-hmm. you know, like... Um, not insane shit, but just like bozo shit. Because like, what do you define as a bozo situation? I don't know. Where I guess when begin? I when I think of when I think of what's that? I said where to begin. Yeah, when I think of like uh, kind of the area you're in. I yes, think, like I think all the like like smoke shop adjacent shit is bozo shit. Zaza you know? core. Yeah, like <laughs> Zaza, that's probably the coolest trend possible clothing wise. But I think like yeah, it's just like walking, Rick and Morty sweatpants. Like, walking to like I love Rick and Morty. Shit. <laughs> Rick and Morty box logos. Yeah, that's why Supreme is failing because they're not fucking putting out what the people want. Yeah. You know, like the real heat. They, yeah, go to Rick the and Mogos. Go, that shit's selling out in every boardwalk in the fucking country. All right, so <laughs> for a reason. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Go hit boots on the ground. Yeah, um, but yeah, like. It's just like people. It's like always like dudes hang out in front of like smoke shops and like exotic snack food stores who are just like hassling people, you know. And it's <laughs> like, bro, I don't want a pre roll, you know. Like, <laughs> Thanks for asking. I don't. I'm good. If I was going to buy blow, it would not be from you. Bro. Yeah, right. You know? like, just so you know, and why? Why are you assuming I do blow? You know? Yeah. Like, what the what? Is it? I literally was walking through Soho, and the guy was like, "There's a dude like you know four people in front of me, and the guy's walking down. He's like pre roll, pre rolls, and he's like, yo, I got pre roll.' And the guy's like, nah, and He looks at me. He's like pre rolls and cocaine. <laughs> and I was like, dog, dude, he read you like a damn book, dude. <laughs> What the hell, dude? See, you stood out. Everyone else was just... Yeah. I know. I'm Everyone like, else was dressed as a pre-roll. Exactly. But you're dressed as a cocaine <laughs> guy in a pre-roll world. Dressed like a big old key. Yeah, you're dude. a coke guy in a pre-roll world, baby. Exactly. Anthropomorphic fucking key, dude. This guy right here. I know. You're not a tourist, bro. You don't look like a tourist. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. This guy can do coke and ha- back at his actual, you know, his not crib. Not, not a hotel room. Yeah. Right, yeah. No, of course not. This is all yeah. hypothetical. Can we talk about health and wellness real quick? Of course. Oh, dude. How's the journey going? How's the health and wellness journey going? You know, <laughs> it's hit or miss. I smoke cigarettes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, the thing is, like, I like the idea of like trying to like be uh, like a health like sp- like do as I say, not as I do. Sure, right, you know? totally. Like that is like my m- the key tenet of my life in general. Yeah. Like you know, so I I have plenty of shit to kick, but you know, follow you know like following the relationship advice that you give to your friend who's in a bad relationship is right. harder than fucking giving it. You yeah, know, absolutely. Um, and we're all in a bad relationship with seed oils. <laughs> oh, is that, oh, the, oh, yeah. is that the number one culprit? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, actually. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> just be honest. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> so I mean, like, all this journey is not going well. So <laughs> no, like. it's good. I'm chilling. I work out. You know, I try to eat as healthy as I can. Um, I don't vape. Um, What's the number one guilty pleasure right now besides darts? Um... Just like drinking too oh, yeah. much. You know, like booze, I fucking like love dr- you know, What's I, your what's your drink of choice? Like if we went out, like what do you what are we buying like you at the bar? Mezcal. Yeah. Like mezcal oh, Negroni, okay. Mezcal on the rocks, or like Mezcal soda. You know, like Damn. um Mezcal maybe, mommy over here. I mean, yeah, it's like it's good. And it's <laughs> it, it's strong and it t- it tastes good and it makes you feel alive. Well food wise, I think Lower East Side is like every it, it's either Za store or fucking like the the fake fashion men's fashion store, or it's like drunk food spot. Yeah. What's your drunk food uh, of choice? Um, the deli. Yeah. yeah. There's a good deli on Broom and Ludlow that has like good sandwiches that we go mm. to. What's your sandwich? What are we doing? Um, yeah. Turkey Club, no tomato, salsalito, pepper jack. The Aki way? You could go way worse than that. That's not bad. A turkey yeah. Club? Never, Come on, never, bro. Never, never. <laughs> yeah. Um, Don't forget and the you bev. Can't, you, and obviously, you can't, can't forget, forget the, the bev. bev. <laughs> um, you know, add a Pops heart on there. Maybe Ooh. like, <laughs> maybe some, uh, some red velvet pancakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some red velvet Aki pancakes way. with fucking Fruit Loops mixed in. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, maybe a beef patty. <laughs> <laughs> <And some> chorizo <laughs> For on good top. measure, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, 
And then, like, I, obviously, like, I like natural wine and shit, too. Mm. Uh, mm. But who doesn't? Delicious. You know, but um, juice, baby. Yeah. Do you have any, like, extreme gallery brain wellness lifestyle takes that, like, if you clearly, if you espouse them explicitly, like, might get you fucking, like, some side eye or even a cancellation or two? Yeah. What, like, crazy health takes? Galaxy I'm, brain. I'm, I'm big, like, I think SSRIs and, like, all those antidepressants are really bad for people. And, okay. And for real. And I think that's, like. Damn, you're under Tom Cruise shit, dude. Um, yeah. I am. Uh, Let's not medicate the children. Exactly. But the problem is everyone's on it. And so, like, it's in the water and shit, too. You know, like, they find it, they find it in fish and shit because when you piss it out. The fish are on Wait, Lexapro? what? Yeah, look that shit up. The fish For are real? On, the fish are on Alexa yeah, Pro. I don't eat seafood like that, so it's not a big deal. Yo, let me get a fucking Zanny shrimp real quick, dude. Exactly. Yeah. A Zanny on the barbie? <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, Wait, you pi- so you piss it out. And it gets flushed, and then it goes into the ocean, and then the fishes are fucking slumped. Yeah, I think so. Also, Damn, plastics dude. are bad, you know, sure. microplastics and shit. But it's like, I think the thing that's like, like, like my nihilism would be what gets me canceled because it's like, yo, the world's done. Like, we're cooked. You know, we have like maybe a generation left before. Are you team either- no kids? Um, I don't have any. Right, but I mean, like, besides all the other fucking resellers, <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. the, b- b- besides the proverbial children. Okay, but, yeah, yeah, all my children. Did your nihilism lead to like, uh, like glut- not gluttony, but kind of like a like a, a joie de vivre, where it's like we only got one generation left, fucking live it up. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just like, you know, like I'm not fucking separating my plastics out of the trash. Right. You know. <laughs> Chinese Ch- ain't buying that shit anymore. Yeah, thanks for right. thanks for admitting that publicly. <laughs> yeah. All right, canceled. It is. So, what it is. <laughs> speaking of all the shit, like, so you moved here from L.A. How long ago? Um, so you spent a lot of time here, obviously, but like, you are now like fully in New York. For now, I mean, I still have my crib in L.A. Right. Mm-hmm. But what do you miss the most about L.A.? My family there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Besides the sentimental okay. bullshit, what else do you miss <laughs> about what, what, L.A.? Like, Erewhon. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're an Erewhon girly. Erewhon. It's just like the thing about L.A., especially once we moved out of the east side and moved to the west side, it's like. You stop trying to like make LA something that it's not, which is fun or cool, <laughs> um, and like nice. you know, just enjoy it for what it is, which is like the nicest, like you know, ostensibly the nicest place to live on Earth. You know, like great weather, ocean, beautiful. You can go anywhere. You can go to like get a more space. Yeah, in New exactly. York, you know, like it has like twenty four dollars smoothies. Yeah, like, it has Air One, but it also has like full size grocery stores. Right, right, there, right, right. You know, Ralph's like, baby. It has a Costco ten minutes from my house in a way that I could never do that out here. You mm. know, so it's like there's just a lot of like intangible things that are nicer about la than it's like it just reminds me of like growing up in like you know a suburban small town you know in virginia but right? still clouded exactly you know like i'm, st- <laughs> I'm still go to with the sauce because you could just like move to iowa i mean i want to move back to my hometown of virginia so bad it's just like i need to be able to make money you're richmond is that is that uh, the- charlottesville okay, really. okay. Um, is that why you want to do e-com or like transition to e-com you can just fucking well i just think e-com's less moving parts and i can run it like a lot more efficiently and leaner with less people oh yeah what's up want. with the charlottesville airport james and i had a fucking quick little layover why does that exist there's the two gates where the fuck was your layover for like what we were going, going to, Atlanta to Atlanta to then go to um, there's like a tornado Augusta. oh and they stopped you in charlottesville yeah, yeah. i love that airport by the really? way really um I th- that's why i fly american because they fly into charlottesville <laughs> oh shit yeah straight i guess um, there is no crowds because it cannot handle more than 50 people at once yeah, yeah. But also the interesting thing is like there's so many like hedge fund managers who own horse farms outside of charlottesville so if you sit in that airport for a couple hours you'll see pjs flying in and out oh all shit the time and so a lot okay. of dudes instead of like moving to connecticut or long island they'll move down there because the property tax it's is a bank so friendly lower. state mm. um and then it's a right to work state too so you can just fire people for whatever hell um, yeah <laughs> and uh <laughs> Luke's Luke, Luke Charlottesville coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like you know, like it's beautiful, the Piedmont's amazing, you know, like there's like huge, beautiful horse farms, but like it still has like I, I, I compare it a lot to like what I imagine Aspen's probably like, which okay. is like in a pretty rural setting. There's like white a, as hell, a yeah. nice like rich, rich guy paradise. Yeah, exactly. You know. And it wasn't as much like that growing up, but now it kind of has become yeah. that. But it's like also like it's walkable in the downtown area, it's beautiful. Has really good restaurants. Like, there's mad. Like, well, the airport needs a fucking shake yeah. shack. Um, that one hate crime blip on the radar aside. Well, doing pretty yeah, good. It's, it sucks because like I've never experienced anything horrible like that growing up there. And so, as a like, white man, um, <laughs> <laughs> got his ass. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you as, as the most persecuted type person in America. You know, yeah, absolutely. Dude. Did, you, um, did, you, did you did you have to leave your cars behind? Like, are you pushing anything? Are you whipping anything right now in New York? No. No? Uh-uh. Do you miss that? Yeah, I, I, I genuinely like driving. Yeah. Like you had that. a fucking fleet in Armada, right? Yeah, I sold all that shit. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Well, I, I, you know, I sold a lot of it to buy the house for the down payment of the house. Mm. Um, Got it. And just like, it's a lot. It's just like, like, it was just kind of like a hobby to have. Because like once COVID kind of like 
like I wouldn't say end it, but like I had to get back to work. You know, I'm like it's like I don't I no longer have like twenty hours a week to be like tinkering, tra- like taking cars to different garages. Yeah, and shit, sure, you know? absolutely. Like, so is that what you miss the most about LA? Is like is whipping around, driving, just like weather, weather. You know, just like being able to just like chill, go to the grocery store, yeah, and like yeah, like. Yeah, stuff like that. So then what was Man. the thing that you were so pumped to like leave behind when you're like, I'm gonna spend the majority of my time on the East Coast? Well, I'm not I wasn't really that pumped to do so. I wanna open oh, really? in LA so I can spend time in both places. Oh shit. You're um, in LA is greater than New York. Guy. No, I am I need both to be truly happy guy. Okay. Like they both have things about you're bisexual. Them. I need two com- girlfriends. Sorry, yeah. ladies. When it comes to coasts, you're bisexual. Um <laughs> exactly. But it's like there are things that I want out of both of both places and right. lifestyles from both things yep. that i need like new york is super like energetic and like mm-hmm. I, my most of my network is here most of my really good friends are here and i want to uh like i, I like you know i like new york i love new york but like i also need to like re- like rest and like recharge in la and like totally it's easier to be healthy there get some vitamins oh absolutely. there's like no healthy food in new york it's it's mm, tough it's tough like are you going out in LA or no? That's another thing. That's too. well. It's, uh, yeah, like, you're not partying. Like, apartment, like I'm not going to fuck apartment 200. You know, like. <laughs> true. Yeah, there's nothing to do in LA. Have you thought of like? Do you ever think that you could get out the retail resale game and like live the life of normal? We've kind of talked like vaguely about. Like, I mean, your I would, future dreams. I would like to that. I, I what I really want to do is like media stuff. You know, yeah? like, I'd love to like be on TV. Like, <laughs> you know, like do like Anthony Bourdain. I'd love to be famous. <laughs> I don't want to be famous. I just want to fucking like. It's easy just being in front of a camera. Who's that reseller guy that had a show on Netflix in like Phoenix? Oh. Or- Slobby oh, Robbie, oh my yeah, God. Slobby yeah, Robbie. You guys should have him on here. You guys, you kind of got the same vibe. I'm trying to get sloppy with Robbie, <laughs> yeah. dude. That dude's um, slopped up, bro. <laughs> he's OD. <laughs> um, like, is okay, that so, the, is that know, the shit we're talking about? You want to be a host? You want to be a host? I want to do like, like I, I would love to do like some Anthony Bourdain shit and kind of like explore the human oh, uh, condition. What about having through, your own podcast? Like, you ever think about that? Um, the world needs more electricians and plumbers. That's, that's, that's yeah, absolutely, absolutely true. But yeah, of course, I've, of course, I've thought about it. It's just like I think it would have to make sense first yeah. and not seem like I'm like forcing it just to do it. You, you seem know? like you're really relishing like these the reels and the content that you're putting out, which is like super entertaining. James and I love it. We talked about it a bunch, like leading up to doing like your interview. And I feel like you're just a natural kind of showman in a certain way. Yeah. Like, is that the? Do you look forward to doing those? Like, not necessarily look forward to them, but like <laughs> like me and Nate, my roommate out here, who like helps me with all of them and edit it. Like we're both like giggling at the shit that i say yeah. when we do you know like it's easy to edit it when it's like when you're entertained by it absolutely know? yeah did you like because when round two had like the youtube show yeah and sean became like a celebrity was any part of you like butt hurt because you're like that should have been me no i never thought about it in those terms at all okay you know and sean's like one of the most charismatic people i've ever met in my life you know and he like i think all his celebrity is well deserved Right. Okay. Yeah. But so if even when you are on TV, I mean, that's still you're still like a star. Like you could never, you, you could never be a normie, right? Like you have to kind of be like doing like, be like an oddball or a like zag when people zig. Um, I don't know. Like I don't like that's probably true, but I don't think about things in that in those terms. Right. You know, I'm just like when you're tired of your fucking horse farm in yeah. Piedmont that's or whatever the, the fuck. Like, yeah. Exactly. Like you know, like do like do a, cons- like a consulting agency or some shit mm. like that where I can kind of okay. work remotely and fly into the city mm. you on know, your PJ, it's a, baby. It's a 45 yeah. minute flight, you know, like, so yeah, it was it up and so down. Fast, yeah. yeah, it's fucking sick. Like <laughs> I, one time I flew from Dulles to fucking Charlottesville, which is out of DC. Yeah, and it yeah. literally was like, boop, boop. Like it was, 15? A, it was a 12 minute flight. Okay, cool. there was 15 never been in a, the air. I've never been on a flight. That there wasn't like, even like a flight attendant <laughs> announcement about like how to use your seatbelt. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, bro, like, you know, yeah, it's twelve go, minutes. We're good, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like if we die, like, on, if we die on this one, if we die on this one, that's gonna be our bad. Yeah, yeah. that's all. <laughs> that's, that's, that's our fault, boss man. <laughs> well, you did have a big media moment recently where you and your boys, Vincent Forgy and Justin Reed, got the elite New York Times John Caramonica treatment. Whereas like a profile on like the world that you guys occupy and lead, but it's yeah. really just like you three were the stars. Who else do you think should be like? Who are the other goats in the resale game that people should be shopping with? Um, put them on. If we don't know them already, I yeah. think. Uh, or is it like nobody? Goddamn. I don't know. Like, it's. I think it's like one of those things where it's difficult to like plug people because it's like they don't have like a storefront to like go to. So it's like I don't want to like send people to like someone's Grailed page. You know, <laughs> okay. like you know what I'm or saying? Like, or like IG or whatever. Or the private showroom. Exactly. Like there are people who are really talented and really good in the space, but it's like. Also, I think it's on the consumer to go find people who to are educate legit. Because I don't want to yeah. fucking shout some other reseller out and do the work. Happen, you know, yeah. right, right. God forbid. Well, so how do you shop for yourself? I, uh, how do you cop? How's I, Luke cop? I buy shit that comes in the store. Really? really? I, just, I, just, I just take shit home. Yeah. 
you don't fucking shop like a civilian or normal. I rarely go. Sh- I bought like these shorts, you know, but like I rarely go shop. Do you cop shit from the? Do you take shit from the store and then like wear it and then like kind of put it back on the rack? Yeah, like dry, like wear it and then we'll over it. I'll dry clean it. And, oh, like, it's fire. It That's actually like else. the ultimate like hack, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, we need to open up a we fucking store. Like, fuck, dude. Well, if you guys, you know, if you need help with operations, I can maybe come on. Honestly, yeah, there'll be dude. nothing but our legacy, so you won't be welcome <laughs> yeah, there. Right. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's some shit? Okay, what's some shit that maybe you uh, would never ever ever sell? Um, like, I don't know, Zaza. No, <laughs> no I, mean, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Like brand wise, Zaza. No, like a specific piece that like has come in the store and that you maybe there's a sentimental reason why you would never yeah. ever move it. Oh, uh, like oh, something I wouldn't get rid of. Yeah, yeah. bro, I would fucking sell anything. Really? Like, I don't give a fuck. Sell water to a whale. Yeah, like, but like, few. Th- like, I don't think there's any. I, I, I guess like one thing that I still have is like the, the when we first started making good money with R two, I bought a pair of O one Royal ones. Oh okay. shit! And I would never wear those again, you know. But I still have them. And every not even eighty five. So one. No, like, no O ones like the yeah. mid top, you know. Because I was like, that was like. 2015, like no one gave a fuck about 85s back then. We we're getting 85s for like 200 bucks back Crazy. then. And we we're like, this is fucking old smoke. But you have those, and those are like just chilling. And out I'm the just crib. like, I'm like, I feel like this is something because this was like one of the, like, I, sh- I wish I hadn't got rid of my sub that I had first bought when I had money. You know? Okay, like, sure. Um, but I did, you know, and I traded it for a present. So it's like, yeah, we leveled up a little bit. But is that so those sneakers are like what you've held on to the longest? And like, Probably, yeah. You would sell, but you, they, you just. I don't even think I would. Like, really? Because like at this point, it's like, what the fuck's the point, you know? I have to be like down bad, you know. It's like <laughs> down that's real like bad. you know. They said what, what was the meme where it's like, like a dude telling his PS4 is like bank filing for bankruptcy, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like that would be like that. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever see Luke listing the O one fucking yeah. Royals, no, either the like, Royals, it's I either like you know, had an ego. He death, finally took that coke mushrooms. He yeah. finally took that coke from the guy on Broadway. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> exactly. Fucking pray for your boy. Exactly. He's down with, horrendous. Yeah, with with fam- uh, before, I, right before I do the GoFundMe, I'll sell those shoes. Work it out first. Luke, just r- back in the napkin math, how much do you think you spent on clothing in your lifetime? Without, oh like, my just, god, just what's gone out, not what's come in, but what's gone out. Like what I bought from, like clothing wise. Yeah, yeah. It's got millions. millions right? I don't know if like M's, but like you know, I would an say M? high six figures. Really, it's got to be. It's got to be an M, bro. It's got to be. Think an M about at it. least. I definitely up. ran through some fucking bread, wasting money on clothes when we were up. You know, yeah. like yeah. 100%. Oh, what was the dumbest purchase you made when you were up, up, up? Oh, I don't know. Just like clothes that I wore once that I didn't think that didn't actually look cool on me. I bought them because I was just like impulsive, you know, sure. like just uh, you weren't discerning at all. You're like, fuck it. Let it. Fuck let it. it give me the Dragon Ball Z shirt. <laughs> Swipe <laughs> it. Fuck it. Give, give me the airbrush for Dita, Jake and Lean. <laughs> get them jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a banger, dude. We ain't never selling that's that. A, that's another thing I'll never sell. Yeah, yeah, bring that. Put that my lead. shirt king fade, Vegeta drinking <laughs> yeah. lead. Put that uh, next to the key polo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, once and for all, what is the number one selling brand? Is it um, I would say, like, Rick does really well for me. Mm. Vet does super well for me. Chrome does well for me. Balenciaga obviously does well for me. Um, probably those. Mainly. Yeah. What's yeah. It, what's oh, Louis does good, too. Good. Like, Vir- Virgil, Virgil Louis. Louis. Good Louis. You know, like this. Right. Um, yeah, like the shit I wear mm-hmm. um, that you can buy in two weeks. <laughs> this I probably keep, you know. but um, yeah, like Virgil era Louis does really well. Kim Jones Louis does well because like that Supreme like, collab and shit, or yeah, or just like the blue stuff, you know, because yeah. it's like a little bit different, a little bit. Cooler. It was tasteful. Yeah, exactly. way better than whatever the fuck is happening at Dior. God damn! Do you, does we're, anyone? We're in collab hell. Does does like Dior own like as a guy who's in the trenches like. Like, we talked about Matthew Williams, Givenchy having, like, no value. No juice. Right, as a financial Dior instrument. Dior actually does surprisingly well for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you take it and you sell Dior home. Yeah. Kim and Jones I, I Dior sell, home. I try to sell Givenchy. It's just, like, doesn't actually sell. Right. Like yeah. the well, you learned your lesson the hard way. Yeah. Like the rabbit ear shit. I don't know what the fuck that is. There was a hat with, like, fucking, oh, remember? Like co- I thought it was a comb beanie. No, that was before... Uh, the Givenchy, the new Givenchy shit. When like he, who was he sold, the, he had a collection where there was baseball hats and there was like Cardi. Oh, I remember. Yeah, there's some campaign. shit. Those yeah. are nasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are horrible. What sits though besides uh, Matthew Williams era Givenchy? Um, like certain times, I'll, sometimes I'll buy shit and I'm like, I'm surprised this is still here. You know, like obviously I overprice all my vintage, so like my vintage mm. kind of sits. Um, but I also like like looking at it and like having it. Um, is that why you overprice it so that like it's like well, it's a like good I, fixture for I, the store? I curate my vintage based more on wear than on like category, you know, by like than whatever the fuck's on it. So it's like it's hard to replace good like smoked out vintage tees. Right. So I'm like, to me, it, it commands a premium in my opinion. The more smoked, the better. Versus to like a point, Prodigy versus Tool versus Metallica. You're like I mean, I want Prodigy's smoked. fucking. You know, Prodigy poured his head. All that trip hop right. shit is like really good. And you know, like shout out fucking. 
Justin from Varsity LA and Elliot from yeah. 194 because those are like, you know, and obviously Brian and Justin Pro Cell. Like, yeah. they're, those are all people who kind of like brought those T's to the forefront and like made Bjork's valuable and shit. But we like, hit uh, 194 and Varsity like back to back when we were in LA and we had a great time. I think those are fucking legitimately shit. probably the two best clothing stores in Los Angeles. And Straight up? I mean, what's better? Ace Lorenzo fucking sucks. No, Mohawk General Store. Shout out our fucking family. Um, shout out Steve. Shout out Bo. What uh, else is good in LA? Oh, what about Departmento? People fuck with that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fine. But it's like, why the fuck I won't go downtown for? That's true. Um, <laughs> unless I'm going to Soho House. I'll so tacos. Like, or get some trash heroin. Um, a little black tar for the... <laughs> to balance the humor. For the ladies. For the fellas. For the fellas. <laughs> a little to, black to tar for the fellas. The for the boys, yeah. um, Let's see. What else is good in LA? I mean, yeah, Mohawk's good. You know, like, I think it's rare to find a good multi-brand, especially in well, that anywhere. space. Anywhere. Yeah, Mohawk, yeah, yeah Because also, like, Mohawk... We don't even have it in New York, bro. It doesn't exist. It's it like does, over. We got it a doesn't, few. It, no, not really. Well, Quaver, it's, Dover. It's come, depends what you like. Um, yeah. But, like, you know, I grew Sorry. up shopping at fucking Need Supply. So Mohawk oh, sure. kind of, like, speaks to me. Well, Need Supply a, was kind of the blueprint. Yeah. Like, Mohawk kind of speaks to me in a nostalgic way because yeah. it reads Need Supply by, sure. you know. A lot of wood. Um, R.I.P. Totokayo, too, which I think yeah. was probably the best store in New York. Um, opening ceremony I loved yeah. to death. Yeah. Um, but opening ceremony, Damn, the eulogy I, portion of the fucking podcast. I treat opening ceremony the, the same way I treated Karma Loop or Essence, which is just like <laughs> only by Sean Sale. Oh, of course, deep discount. That's why Essence exists. I mean, Essence. I told I told you my theory about how Essence is just twenty twenty three Karma Loop, right? Like, well, that's what it is. That's the take. It's just no one like they buy everything. They have everything, and it all goes ninety percent. Well, they're almost no like two until it does. Yeah. They're almost like too powerful because brands need it. They make yep. huge buys, but then, well, what's gonna happen when they fold in two years? <laughs> well. There's, you heard it here there's first, some folks. Whispers in the in the fucking ether right now, but yeah. it is like they, they they are so algorithmically driven when it's like, all right, here's exactly when we're cutting the the, the price of everything to is this exact like, dollar because they build themselves as a tech company. Is that why? Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, good, good for them. Good, it makes sense. Yeah, uh, but like they're they're throwing around so much money that brands can't say no to that. Yeah. their terms of like, hey, we're gonna put your shit on sale before anybody else before you. Yeah, can. true. Yeah, and like you know, a lot of brands hate those terms. You know, yeah, like, but they have but they like, can't have say no choice. But you can't yeah, say but it's no. Like, to are you gonna turn down a three million dollar buy every no. season? Like, this is right? why like, this is how Barney's fucked over about a bunch of young brands. Right? Yeah, and right. then all these young brands went bankrupt, and then yep, see what happens. Yeah. Um, I heard Real Real is like on the way out soon. Well, I think it's fucking, so well, they can't authenticate their shit, bro. Well, no shit. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's difficult to scale what I do or what me or a real 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 wants to do. Well, yeah, you can't in, scale in, taste. In, well, it's also you just can't really scale authentication past a certain point because right. it's so human driven and there's not yeah. that many people who are actually good we need at the it. AI looking at these bags. Yeah, dog. It's like great. Like <laughs> it's like that. It's like AI doesn't know shit, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's you gotta hard be a because fucking like shark to do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, if you're so good at fucking authenticating and knowing how to resell shit, why the fuck are you going to go work for a tech company? You know, like, you, like you can make more money doing the shit yourself. You know, like, well, a lot of people don't have that gene in them or that like drive in them. Yeah. I think they don't the, got that I think dog the term. In them. Yes. The yeah. Dog in them. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, has anyone ever tried to barter with you, like with something like particularly weird besides fiat or crypto, like, or just like clothes? Like, um, does anyone come in and be like, yo, take this fucking French bulldog? <laughs> um, do you know what's funny is there's shirt. like the, there's a, a dinosaur egg. There's yeah. a dude who like um, comes into the store now. He's coming to R two, and they're like, "Bro, they're like, this man took a fit pic with a with a dog and then sold the dog on the story the next day." Yo, <laughs> really? Savage, bro. <laughs> That's like, a oh savage God. move. I was like, "Yo, if you go to Dachshund, let me know." You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. I'm trying to re up. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll get another one. Um, yeah, anything particularly like ridiculous that like not really, but um, you know, if anyone I'll listening twenty four hours with, the, with my wife, Yo. um, <laughs> bro, this. If anyone listening to this um, has one of those like stand up AC units, I need a couple of those for the summer. Oh, that's I'm a, definitely. Oh, a Dyson, to trade. like a not the ones that have the. Uh, it's for the basement, so I, I can't have the ones with the hoses. But I'll take a couple like you know okay. AC uh, fan units <laughs> for, for what? <laughs> for <laughs> for store, some Louis for, hats for store credit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn. All right. You heard it here. Good to know. Tap yeah. in, fa- tap in, fam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring this man an AC unit for his basement. I know that like like Luke's NYC is such an extension of your personal taste and your style. And, like obviously that's why it's that's why it's working and why it cannot be replicated or necessarily like ripped off. And I know that you're so self confident in your own sense of style. But have you ever gone through a style phase that looking back you now fucking regret? Every time I look back at my old picture, I actually was thinking about this earlier. I was like, I was like, damn, I fit so good right now. But I was like, <laughs> I remember thinking that for every shitty fit pick I right. took for the past ten years, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I think every every fit I put together that's more than a year old is god awful, you know. Like, that's good though. Yeah, I'm always like, oh god, 
can't believe I was How would you that. describe your personal style right now as we're sitting here chopping it up? Oh, and this we can also get into the, my, my, my trend forecast, right? Oh, like, yeah. I don't know. Just like I kind of have a uniform. You know, I just wear vintage tees and fucking like little shorts mm-hmm. and shorts. like, you know, like little like slutty designer shoes, you know, or like hmm. Asics, like, you know, like sporty, sporty shoes. You're sporty and rich. I, you're a sporty <laughs> slut. I sporty used, and slutty. I used to be rich. I'm, sp- I'm sporty and middle class right yeah. now. You're Thou- slut- a thousand air. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Slutty and middle class. I'm a five figure boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what trends do you think are going to pop yeah, off? This so, like, I, I don't have like a way to like quantify this. I don't have a name for it, but no. it's like the way that what I'm seeing in the streets in New York right now is yes. in the same way that everybody in LA bought like a cheap vintage car that stood out but was actually cheaper than a new car, but mm-hmm. like was way vibier, whether it's like an like an eighties Mercedes, mm-hmm. you know, like an early two thousands BMW, something like that that's like cool as fuck that people are gonna turn heads at. But is like actually not that expensive is how I'm seeing people dress right now. So they're like, like I see people like I saw a good friend of mine pop out and like fly knit chuckas the other day and I'm mm. like, oh shit. And I'm like, that's what made my, like made my like the light bulb go off. I'm like, because that's like ostensibly like a fifty dollar pair of shoes yeah, right now, right. but everyone's gonna be like, oh shit, those are hard. You know, right, like, right. And so it's like, were they the HTM fly knit? No, that's the first thing I asked, and they were not. <laughs> um, but they were good. But you could even probably get HCM flying in chuckas for like, like two fifty. Like yeah. who wants? If you that? catch if you catch Russ fucking in one of his little <laughs> moods selling, these, yeah, selling right? the shit he got for free, you could probably catch him cheap. <laughs> Absolutely, um, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but story sale king, bro. <laughs> that's, that's my story sale king for sure. Yeah. I don't know about everybody. But um, so it's like not expensive, but it's it's like a esoteric, like but esoteric cheap. uniqueness. You yeah. know, like standing out. Is that is that like the IG mindset of like oh like this? Well, is I think look. I think it's like the I think it's the backlash to the uh, IG or TikTok mindset where everyone's dressing the same and hanging out in front of ALD. You right. Know, like yeah. Everyone ALD dresses. It's the, the beat the algo you know? fit. Exactly. You should be trying to beat the algo with your this fit. This is the we outside we back outside fit. The, I mean, because this is the first summer where it feels like everyone's back outside. You yeah, know, it's, it's about to be crazy, crazy bro. It's about to go yeah, crazy. It's insane. And so, like, I've been buying like the like nasty like early two thousands like wide shoulder jerseys. You know, like mm. on some like you got like served the Latrell Sprewell shit. shit. Yeah, like, you got served <laughs> like extra. the high school LeBrons. Exactly. Are you wearing oh it backwards? <laughs> no, but it's reverse. I bought a Jordan one's reversible. Um, but like, yeah, I think it's just like people are trying to like express themselves. In a way that's like not super expensive because I think the right. like, I don't see I don't think we're actually in a recession but I think people think that we are and instead of being more conservative with their money mm-hmm. and, and perception is reality in that regard. Yeah, I mean it's again a self fulfilling. Wait, so you're telling right? me that like a harder fit for like a young impressionable guy who uh, wants to like hang out, look cool, get pussy, whatever. Right now, you're telling me that like the right throwback jersey is like better than wearing like a. Bodhi crocheted fucking shirt. I, well, first of all, I think Bodhi is like one of the best brands around. I'm gonna show you my fit. Okay. okay. This is this I is made, your. I made my friend take a picture of me the other day. This, this is your go-to <laughs> slutty summer fit. It's yeah. You do okay. love your good Bodie. This spot, I have this pot, I think, is kind of split on Bodie. Really? See, like this. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're going <laughs> to the fuck like, to a CrossFit. Like exactly. I mean, most no, of that like, is just like the pose. Yeah. Right? And the fucking, yeah, like, he's like, flexed up. Jersey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I think Bodie is one of, if not, first of all, it's how do they sell with your clientele? But that actually might be the best selling brand in really? the store. Fuck. Yeah. What? It doesn't really? really sell online. It sells crazy like fucking water. Stealth store. wealth, bro. Everyone that's the thing, you're like, there's no logo or whatever, but everyone fucking knows you're wearing Bodhi, bro. I yeah, think it's Bodhi people guy. more I don't like I, I don't see it as a stealth wealth brand. I see it as like really well reinterpreted vintage, fake vintage. That's fair too. I mean, I'm not saying it's not well made. Yeah. We know the factories. It's like slow food, but for fucking clothes. You know yeah. I mean? it's, it's slow clothes. It's cottage core. Yeah, exactly. Uh, farm to closet, bro. Uh huh. <laughs> I, but that I also mean, means that a lot of people are coming with their body to give up to you. Well, right? who else is buying it? That's the other. And you're buying a specific no, type of you. big brain body too, as you say, the the good body, the best. I mean, body. I'll take some mid ass body, but like <laughs> you know, like I, I I genuinely I wear body and I really really like body. Like if I'm on my like menswear, like not like dressing like a homeless person <laughs> vibe, you know, like I'm wearing body ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Like that's when you're getting offered the pre roll, not the trousers coke. or Issa trousers, right? Bodhi button up, you know, or like a Bodhi shirt. Or Let's Bodhi circle back in here and see, see if you regret these fits. Yeah. Because it sounds like it's a one year thing. Uh, is is but he hey, still you're moving crazy? For it too? Is he goes crazy. Yeah. Yes, he does really well. Just well. the pleats? Yeah. Because again, please, it's like please, please. He, you, you're now the guy in fucking pleats, bro. The yeah. SC pleats. We know. We see you. Yeah, SC pleats go cra- go crazy. What about like the non pleat shit? Because like I, we see that some like big brings up. Super well really? Yeah. But it's also like, it's all walky fitting, fitting vintage. It's like, does yeah. he make non pleat shit? Generally, right now, or is I it believe like so. Because you go to the Issei store, like 
in Tribeca, it's all pleats. They're pushing pleats. They're I mean, pushing P. Because they know yeah, that's what people want. Yeah. They are pushing They're pushing P leads. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like, where are you guys, like, who's pro Bodhi, who's anti Bodhi in this pod? He's an- he's very vehemently anti Bodhi. I'm dying on and, that hill, bro. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that's, me, I'm just like, I'm just honestly like, really surprising to me. Can you just explain why? Like, I just don't get why. I just think it's like, uh, it, you're basic. You f- here's my problem is because you're wearing it. And you think you're a fucking stylish fucking uh-huh. man about town. You might as well be wearing all over print Gucci or a Supreme box logo. So you Everyone think it's like, you think, you think it's like elevated like tackiness? Yeah, tacky it's just shit. like. And is I, this true of so many? Is it true of ALD? Even? This is true of a lot of brands. I'm just saying. But like Bodhi, for me, for whatever is, reason, is that seems why to get a lot of passes from people. Is bro. that why you dripped out in full Drake's? Because people don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Check out my kerchief. Or, or OL. You know, or like the brands that we do like. I think it, whatever. But yeah. Because because to me, Bodhi fits so strongly into y'all's wheelhouse. It's very awesome. It is ostentatious. I think that like, yes, I think that a lot of our guys do like it and wear it. But uh, I, the, the hate towards it, I think, is like a fucking overreaction. Hit him with the Jonah quote. Because this is the best, this is the best uh, distillation of Bodhi. Jonah Hill, who is, oh. uh, <laughs> no, not into <laughs> it. Jonah Hill, who's been biting my style for the better part of a fucking decade. Continue. He, he's, he's the fabulous of, of guys that, you know, chill on Mulberry. That's um, honestly true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he told us that he's like, he stopped wearing Bodhi because if you walk into a party, like you're the Bodhi guy, right? We're wearing Bodhi. And God forbid, and now that it has gotten popular, you run into someone else wearing Bodhi. Like, there can't be two Bodhi guys at the function. You can't, bro. You can't do the Spider-Man meme with the, if, you're, if your whole thing is esoteric cool guy, and then there's another esoteric cool guy wearing the same shit, it's a wrap. That's why it, you keep it the fucking... hammer in the tote bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spin the block. <laughs> Saw another Bodie man. Listen, I'll be, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the deli and get a sandwich. If yeah. I come back and you're still wearing Bodie, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. air this bitch out. Not a road man. I'm yeah. a Bodie man. <laughs> and that's not to say it's not beautifully made and that like you know they do great stuff. It's just like what people think it represents. To me, uh, there is a big difference from what it it actually represents. It, in my opinion, it does have some pick me ass motherfucking energy. But yeah. like, what do, I mean, it's like Bodie. I'm yeah. a pick me ass guy. And also, that's yeah. a yes, fine, you are. And that's the finance. Bro. But you're a rock star, so you can yeah. wear this shit. But a lot of guys can't. I think can. it is becoming like, you know, like that style is is going into like the cool finance bro. Hundred percent, bro. Absolutely. Know? And it's like, yeah. and that actually is a point I've really thought about. But you make a really good point. Is like, since their brand identity is so strong, is that going to be one of those trendy ass brands where you're like, damn, this motherfucker was wearing Bodie back they in the day? Like, sell Bodie at Dover Street. No, but they sell it at Mohawk. They sell Don't it. They at sell it at Hirschlifers, probably. Because I'm true. just picturing I, like Hirschlifers. Good. I've never been. Uh, I think it's good in a nasty way. Yeah, you know what I mean. Very uh, nasty. I mean, we should, in a kith treats I mean, like you know. Pop we should up we should road trip way. out there though. I would Yo, love to. Amazing, I would love bro. to go. Yeah. That'd be so sick. That'd be fun. But, but I think there's a Murray Hill guy who puts on his Bodie and comes downtown and is cosplaying for the weekend. A hundred percent. Right. That's, I think there's, there's a lot of brands he, like isn't that. Isn't he fucking doing that if he goes to hang out on Mulberry Street and wearing full? A hundred percent. I think that there's there's a there's enough trickle down of boat the Bodie aesthetic that like yeah. this guy might not be wearing Bodie. He might sure. be wearing another brand that is ripping off Bodie with the fucking it's like, it's grandma still, it's, shit. It's the same Pinterest board, right? Exactly. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what was the brand that Rowan Blazers was selling that was literally just fake Bodie? Stan. Uh, Stan. It's called Stan. It was literally called Stan. <laughs> yeah, do you know about there was a fake no. there's a fake Rowan Blazer sells other brands? He, no, well, he, it was like a it was his boy. They he tried to put him yeah. on. He's yeah. like, oh, like our dads went to fucking Harvard together. Yeah, some Rowan Blazer should sell other brands because their brand is fucking ass. Oh, are you? You're the guys that have the beef with the Rolling Blazers, yeah, guys, bro. Right? Well, we're one of a few, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, Get I, in line. I, I, uh, <laughs> Take a number. <laughs> I've actually heard kind of bad things about. Yeah, we can move on. Yes, we don't need sir. to give this guy any fucking airtime. I want to. I want to talk about New York City because you've now spent. So Luke's has been operating for six months. How long have you been in the city full time? Um, back and I mean, like, because you've been back and forth, but like, um, I mean, I've been here since March. Almost a year. Yeah. No. What the no, fuck I mean, I went to LA in March, but I'm saying, like, I guess, like, almost it's May. a year. A little over a year. Yeah, yeah, a little over a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is May. Now that you've spent a significant amount of time here, when you were on the pod two years ago, you made the claim that New York City is the most overrated food city in the world. Do you stand by that? <sighs> yes. Has it become even more overrated? No, I honestly, think, I, no, I I think it's less be... overrated because I've found, like, I think you found it, your spot. I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Like, Fair. So. Like, I think New York does, like, fine dining a lot better than anywhere else, but that's not really what I'm into most no. of the time. And so I think that's kind maybe of where once that's, in the blue moon. Maybe that's where that statement came from for me. Mm. Um, it's, like, just because it doesn't really match my... Uh, taste. Taste. Literal Although taste. Although I think, I think, I, I, I think L.A. is not as good as I gave it credit for as well. I think the best food city in the country is probably Chicago. 
Mm. Damn, dude, we had a fucking good ass time. Because you're a fucking there. big it's, meat eater, like yeah. not just because I think that Meatsman. like Meatsman. I think Chicago is cheap enough where like people can take risks in open restaurants without being pretentious. Exactly, and like like chefs can actually do what the fuck they want to do because their rent's only fifteen hundred dollars. Right, New York is tough because it's so fucking expensive. You need like yeah. huge corporate backing. It's the same reason there's no multi brands here because it's too fucking expensive to start right. that. Exactly, you can't have an om- you can't have a, a sub two hundred om- or sub four hundred omakase in New York. You can't have a fucking multi brand. Yeah, it's a goddamn curse of exactly. city in the but motherfucking yeah, world. I think uh, I think. New York's good. It's just like um, it d- it doesn't really fit like the way I like like to go out to eat. A lot what are your spots like? Where do you like to go out to eat? Um, we don't have the gatekeep. What are we doing? Um, the skinny in the lower is like the worst dive bar in the world, but it has like the best food. It mm. has like the best wings. Hell yeah. Um, what else is good? King Dumpling on Hester is really good and cheap. Um, you know, Scars obviously. Sure. Because there's the Williamsburg Pizza right there, but Williamsburg Pizza is horrible. Um, there's one in Lower Side. Yeah, there's one on Allen. It's like literally, I can see it from the store. Okay. But I just like, um, yeah, it's gross. Um, <laughs> what about the heart pizza with the ricotta cheese? Uh, I, I want to go get the uh, Jada Kiss all crust pizza from Cuts and Slices. Oh, oh yeah. Have you ever been to Cuts and no, Slices? Is it good? No, I want to go so oh, yeah, bad, I wa- bro. I actually know a dude who works there. We should go. Bro, like get the, I'll get some oxtail. The oxtail yeah, looks, I, dude, I we should go, and then we're going to Hershleifers, I Yo, believe. Afterwards? Honestly, I'm down for that. If you guys want to do that, slump for a week with the oxtail is pizza. They, I mean, that shit looks, and that guy crushes on social well, media. Well, actually, I know him from sneaker reselling. He's, oh, nice. oh, he's from that world. He, yeah, he's really it, fucking that track. Yeah, he's 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 a really nice. You literally can't take a bite of of a slice. That shop without getting a camera in your face and getting the review, beloved. Like yeah. you can't. Like it's incredible. Like, this is delicious. <laughs> is, it close to you? is it close to you? Uh, I, th- we, I could it's, walk. I think it's off Hughes. It's right? probably like a fifteen minute trek for me. But yeah, yeah, I've just never gone. But I want to. So I badly. want to as well. And try every fucking. I want to try all four of the oxtails. Yeah, dude. Mm. There's four. Oh, sweet, sweet chili, sweet chili uh, curry, curry, brown stew, and there's like another one. Bro, he's been going. Cra- you know who put me on a cuts and slices? Shout him out, Upscale Vandal, dude. Yeah, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> um, is he, is he, is he Luke's customer? No, but upscale. He, he should slide. He yeah, should. Absolutely. He's on. got that bread, bro. Yo, yeah. he'll drive us out to Hirsch Life in the fucking in the um, in the Maybach in truck. The, yeah, the I'd be down for that. Um, um, what else is good? Um, Anton's in the West Village is probably my favorite restaurant overall. Okay. Um, Dowza is the best hand roll spot in the city. Of oh Miami. shit! And it's right next to the shop on Allen and Delancey. Um, what else? The the deli on Broom and Ludlow is yeah. really good. The Mookie yep. Way, mm-hmm. um, the Mookie Way, the Mookie Way, <laughs> the Mookie the Mookie Way. way. <laughs> um, Damn good title. <laughs> it's, put, put, it's, you put a Milky Way on your sandwich. <laughs> that's the Mookie Way. Um, what else is good? I mean, like there's good shit in Essex Market. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I went to Superiority Burger two weeks think? ago. Yo, that's he owns Williamsburg. That's our guy. Ash, yeah. he does Williamsburg pizza too. Oh well, I don't know what the fucking di- what happened with Williamsburg pizza. <laughs> so how's Superior Order Burger? What's the review? We're trying to go. One so of bad. the best meals I've Lewis had in the past six months. Yeah, really? everyone is saying that that's well, it's, it's still in the soft opening. It always was. It's, Did you have it before? Huh? Yeah, it's it always was fire. I know, but it was like I, I don't know if it either got better or maybe my taste had just changed. But it's well, like, the menu's it was, also expanded. It was unbelievably good. Really, like Sick. eleven oh. out of ten. Oh, I was damn. like. I waited an hour for it, and I and would do it again. See, Luke can take it away, but he also giveth. I love yeah. that. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let's get on to your nobody dirtbag shit. What are some like bozoed out restaurants and bars that you avoid at all costs? Hair of the dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, hair of the dog. Um, like classic. I think all like the smash burger spots are for fucking bozos. Personally, I don't think smash burgers are that good. Uh, um, I love a smash burger. I'm a bozo. Mm. <laughs> That's fine. That meat uh, lace, bro. <laughs> Crispy. Um, <laughs> once once that Shake Shacks opens on Rivington, everyone's going to be oh, it's a wrap. Sure. You know? It's a wrap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? I mean, <sighs> Williamsburg Pizza is not very good. I'll say that again. You always, you're always inviting me to Ray's. Um, yeah, y'all <laughs> love Ray's. I would rather fucking chew glass and hang out there. <laughs> um, to be clear, we do not love Ray's. Yes, y'all do. <laughs> we, had had a, we had a party there, there because the... Uh, the corporate partner, y'all the corporate partner. The raise guys Shut to me, the right? fuck up, bro. <laughs> Did you come God to that party? It. You weren't in town yet, right? I don't think I was invited. Oh, um, it was always invited. What are you talking bro? about? You're always invited. Yeah, but he'd rather he was chewing. He was at home chewing glass. <laughs> exactly. I. Uh, what else? I mean, like, I feel like all those. I feel like there's no good restaurants in Soho. You know, like I feel like all those restaurants. Correct. In Soho all yeah, kind of suck. Right. You know, like Soho seems like the worst neighborhood to live in. You know, even though oh well, there's bro, no there's no fucking deli there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like living in Times Square. Yeah, you have to get everything delivered. Um. What else? Um, I think that that probably covers. Yeah, it. that was a lot. Whole Foods Hot Bar has kind of gone down in quality, in my <laughs> really? opinion. Um, in I your uh, expert opinion, I think, I think the Whole Foods mac and cheese is the biggest ca- casualty of COVID. Oh, oh damn, damn, dude! 
Not the one million. R.I.P. to our fallen soldiers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> get, mac the, cheese. get the POW t-shirt made. <laughs> the biggest loss during Put COVID back. was the Whole Foods mac and cheese, according to Luke. Make an airbrush <laughs> t-shirt of just the Whole Foods mac and cheese. <laughs> just like a play on that Polo Cuddy dude. dude. Yeah. yeah. Damn, we Make need a, a fucking, fucking mural. mural. Yeah. <laughs> broom. What the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Luke, who's the most fun person in New York to party with? Um, is it 4G? Yeah, is it Vince? He's, he's top three. Yeah? Um, I've always had fun going out with Lawrence. I'm a bad boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> We um, had some fun. I mean, honestly, kinfolk, RIP. We had some fun times, yeah, brother. Yeah, there's there's some pictures of us um, Yikes. Them. with <laughs> our eyes very, very <laughs> bugged out. Um, what else is fu- like? Who else is fun? I mean, my my best friend, Nate. Um, he's your roommate, right? Yeah. He's, yeah. He does like, your content? Huh? He does he your content? Ed- or he edits it. Okay. Wait, is he, do you have an actual roommate? Yeah, here. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's fun to party with. Um, who else? Like. Brick, uh, I love going out with Brick too. Brick Owens from B- yeah, Bistroy Fame. Shout out Bistroy. A really good friend of mine. Um, he, does he live in New York? Yeah. Him okay. And do, you should have him and do on the podcast. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, they're both really talented designers and they also like to drink Mezcal, mm. you know, so. That's, Perfect for you. What's dude? that shitty Mezcal bar like on like Ludlow or Orchard? Casa Mezcal? Yeah. Um, yo, do you know that there's like a fucking club in the basement? Really? Like the, I did not know. The leisure center I'm dudes are always throwing parties. At oh, like, that's Frank's I, always throwing parties at like a place. That I'm like, what, like I've I walked by this place a hundred times, and there's yeah. like a fucking discotheca in the basement. Like what the <laughs> fuck? I like, was at Casa Mezcal with uh, Seth. Had that bald cap. He had a, like. Oh yeah, I fucking love Seth that. and Frank. <laughs> it was so <laughs> sick. <laughs> when Frank put it on, I was like, this Loki looks like it could be real hair, bro. Yeah. You got the cul-de-sac. <laughs> oh man, dude. Um, and then like they like they had a party like that. Wait, that place is good. It kind of was. I was in there for. A, I was like, "This is weird, bro." No, I was in that bitch fucked up. Like, I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, the upstairs is like fucking very lower side, right. broy. But I guess if there's a club downstairs and it gets weird, then who knows? Yeah. So I mean, I was like, I was, I was, I was in a weird state of mind. Oh yeah. Put it like that. You ate the worm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I was treating my. That's dep- what the kids I was, are calling I was it. Treating my depression, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We're no, you were self medicating. Um. But yeah, something that's uh, you're eating a lot of it. approved for depression treatments. Approved for horses. <laughs> um. <laughs> eating a lot of zany shrimps. Yeah. <laughs> Zan on the Barbie. You had the horsepower kicking in, dude. Yeah. yeah. All like the pl- I had, of, I had a lot of polo on. <laughs> one could say, <laughs> calling him Ralph. Yeah. Uh, uh, as a home chef, as a chefsman, get nasty on the sticks at home. Right? Are you still like into fucking? Cooking oh yeah, and I shit? can cook my fucking ass off. All yeah. right. So me and Larry are coming over for dinner. What are What are you chefing up? Um, what are you on the mood for? No, you you're you tell us. Well, you know us, so it's like, what do you? We want, want we you want like a okay. How about this? We want five hours of like just <laughs>, laughs, a barrel of laughs, like course it out, <laughs> and that's all we're doing that night. A we're not going out laughs? after. Let's say so. Uh, if we're not going out, I'll probably cook some fat ass shit. You yeah, know, like buff yeah. chick dip. Yeah, always buff chick dip. You know, <laughs> fucking yeah. sodium. In case your sodium level wasn't high enough when you sure. got to the house, um, maybe like a nice, you know, green salad with a vinaigrette. Mm. Um, I like arugula. Ooh, maybe same. spinach, maybe Pepper, like some maybe. rocket. I, I kind of hate kale. Um, okay, got to be massaged correctly. Well, it has to be like frozen. Like that, like, you know, like kale was a winter vegetable. So the reason people actually ate it back in the day is they would let it freeze mm. and then they would pick it and then thaw it and cook it. So it's like the cell walls need to be broken down. Otherwise, I'm fucking chewing on it. Yeah, it's like super goddamn, tough. Otherwise, yeah, not yeah. good for your I, stomach. I always got to sub out the kale sweet green, you know. <laughs> I'm like, no, give me baby spinach. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I'll make some like sourdough pizza for y'all. Maybe, maybe I'll make my own cuts and slices oxtail pizza. Oh, oh um, let's go. Nice dude. like oxtail gravy bechamel as Damn. the sauce. Wagwan. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> maybe two slices of sweet chili oxtail, two slices of curry oxtail, <laughs> okay. two slices of fucking browns. Um, what else? I mean, I don't know. Maybe like a steak, like dessert? a nice steak. Um, dessert. I like. I'm a cookie guy. I like cookies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can bake. Luke. Um, no, I just fucking break them off the fucking Toll House. Low okay, I like that. Over Toll House, not Pillsbury. Uh huh. Okay. Unless Respect. I want like a sugar cookie. <laughs> if I can get like, if I can get them to put the Throwing Fits logo in the middle. Oh, of the dude, hell <laughs> yeah, dude. That, the Lukey Cookie. That seems like uh, that seems like there's probably a high minimum order for that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Presumably. All right. Uh, let's say that we're not in your hair. And actually, sorry, it is time to move on to the next segment mm. of the podcast, yeah. Luke. Okay. Which we like to call. Dead what is that? You should be familiar with it. It's sucking and fucking. Meats and cheeks. Sex and dating. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What's date night looking like for Mr. and Mrs. Frazier? Um, usually a French restaurant. We mm-hmm. both love French food. Um, and then, you know, a couple drinks. 
go back to the crib and just like watch a movie. Like like I will like actually try to watch a movie on those types of nights. Oh, put the phone because those the time like I haven't opened a streaming service besides YouTube in like months. You know, like I'm <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. only watching videos. Fire about, the like, Criterion Collection about yeah. like you know I'm only watching stuff about that's like, the Fried Tyrion Collection, bro. Yeah, about like you know the Chinese Navy's new aircraft carrier <laughs> or like you know the geopo- research, the geopolitics of the Balkans. You know, like yeah. how we doing? Good shit. Um. And we have we have a few more years of right. global superiority. Right. <laughs> okay. Is Taiwan takeable by land or by sea, I mean? Um, I think it will be in the next five years, but okay. I think the window is going to be closed by then. I think India is like, pushing up on them pretty hard right now, and I think this whole Ukraine-Russia thing is like make, it's stressing China out. Okay. Because it's, like, de- it's like destabilizing Russia, you know? I also heard that Putin is actually dead and it's a body double right now. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that too. Um, That's or, spicy. Or he's like, very, very sick, you know? Yeah. Like, They've been saying he's like gonna die yeah. for months now. Yeah, that vacuum of power is gonna be fucking. That's the problem is like whoever's after him is gonna be way worse. You know, like yeah. you know, Lu- can we get a Luke's Moscow, Luke Saint Petersburg? <laughs> oh. Plant your flag. I'm more of in like the that. vacuum. Those can, people like you can rise to power. I think. I think. Or Gosha. <laughs> well, I th- you know, I, th- I think the only reason ERL is around is because Gosha got canceled. You know. Like oh, where they had to, the 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 um the comb had to replace him. That's what I'm saying. I think it fucking. But Gosha. isn't Gosha like back? Isn't there another now? There's, there's, the there's new? Rosvet, which is the skate company, right? Um, with who they send stuff to my homie Reggie, and the stuff's actually cool and nice. Well, that's like well, yeah. Besides him being a fucking sexual predator, like Gosha was pretty fucking sick. Like, yeah, but it was also of a time. Is know? Gen Z TikTok not embracing Gosha? Like fucking, no, it doesn't sell really like good, even if it's like a cool Gosha piece. Yeah, Mr. Rubchinsky, tear down. On this bussy. Yeah, <laughs> had to get that in there as always. Luke, let's ask you as a, as the expert. What's the ultimate no pussy getting fit? Um, <laughs> for this summer, for the impressionable audience at home. Yeah, collared shirt. Really? Besides, like a slutty. No, but like that well, with the beater on. It's is turnball like, and answer is good. Yeah, yeah, but like like just a, a straight up Oxford. Like yeah, you know, I think like sleeves rolled I up. I think a fully buttoned shirt is is gonna be the problem here. Really? Like oh, guys used to do air tie. I, I don't, hated that. I don't bro. think it's about the fit per se, but it's how you wear it That's and how fair. you carry yourself. Yeah. Okay, you of know, because like you know, all these fucking frat bros be busting them down. You know, it's yeah. true. You gotta be careful. You gotta you look learn over your dog ass boys. The, frat, <laughs> the hair of the dog boys are learning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, clever yeah. boys. You know, what's funny is we, They've learned ha- how to unbutton shirts. I went to hair <laughs> the dog once. It was probably in like you know, or like maybe January, December. Um, because my man claimed they had better wings than the skinny, which I think is a fucking cap. Oh, so this was a wing fucking. We wing were, wing we're eating there. we eating dinner. Buffalo and, wings. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, it. um <laughs> exactly. Nice. And literally like. And this should tell you about like the R two audience. Legit, in an hour and a half, eight people came up to me and were like, "Yo, are you the dude from those videos?" Wow. And hair of the dog, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like this shit doesn't really happen to me anymore, you know? Right. And so like, do you miss ha- that? Low key. I don't care, you know? Like, no, not really. Okay. Like it's fine, you know? Like I mean, the Luke socials are getting up there, yeah. like seventy k on IG, like, and now you're on this oh, shit. Seventy k on IG, I have fifteen k. No, no, no. Personal, your personal shit. Is my personal though. was like, I- I've lost like ten thousand followers since my peak. Wait, for real? Yeah, people don't fucking fuck with my personal Damn, socials. Damn, what the fuck? Do you think that, are there people because of like, you know, you... Probably le- just people who are just like fans of the store. Or the he show. left the family. Um, I just He's think dead just to like, me. I just think that like... That's crazy. A, I don't post that much personally. And then B, like... What's up with... There's like hella birds flying around back there. Yeah, it's oh. great. Sh- greatest show on earth. I know. <laughs> dinner and a show. Um, no, greatest show on earth is uh, Luke at uh, Hair of the Dog, apparently. Yeah. Dude. Wait, so how are the wings? So your boy just was... They're, they're fine. But not top. Skinny wings are really Okay, really? good to know. I gotta fucking try right. myself. You should. Okay. Uh, slut wise, how slut do we go in the summer? Like, how, oh. not just yourself, but like, how slutty should the boys go this summer? I mean, like I said, this is the first summer everyone's back outside. Since but we, but th- people have said that the last yeah. three summers. No, but this is the first time that like nobody's wearing a mask. Like, there's no social distancing, anything. It feels like no the, condoms. This feels yeah. like the first year. This feels like the first year of like the year after 2019. Everybody getting HPV. Let's fucking go. Um. <laughs> well, I got the vaccine. Oh, okay. The, H- the HPV vaccine? Yeah. They got that? They, yeah. I got Damn. that shit when I was like 11. I thought everyone just had HPV. I thought we were just going that, yeah, that's that what route. That's no, like, it's like, like welcome to New York. She's in the gene pool. It's, everyone's pissing it out. Like, yeah, like, the f- yeah. I was going to say all the fish are out, too. Fish <laughs> HPV. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, Check Luke, your crabs for cold sores, people. Luke, how much money do you make? Uh, not enough. Not enough. Do you have like a number of like where you would, would be like happy? Or is, you you li- is, it, is there right? no limit? Um, I think I would be I would be like pretty stoked if I was making like a hundred bands a month. Okay, a month. Yeah. So like but you got overhead and right. shit, obviously. Yeah, like exactly. Not, you know. Or do you mean like a hundred no, bands like, a month in your bank account? Like well, to yeah. me to pay my bills. Right, right, right. Hundred right, right, right. net. Do with as I see fit. Okay, I'm fucking with that. 
I, I would be happy with that. I mean, I, you kind of like lived that, or even I, I, I got close to the sun. Okay. What was like Too the hardest close. thing? What was the hardest thing to give up? Now, like Ooh. returning to life as a broke boy. Um, just like having to actually think about like buying stuff for myself, like or, budgeting like, shit. Yeah, like yeah. I, damn. Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah, shit <laughs> yeah no shit, bro. <laughs> before you just let, before you just let the fucking Amex fly. Yeah, exactly. You know, like opposite. Like when I yeah, like when I fucking moved, you know, back to L.A. during like right before COVID, I just like bought a full Moderna set for the crib. You know, like and I was <laughs> like, it. yeah, just put it on the plan. Like, yeah, dude, you know? run it, Yeah, dude. I was like, fuck it. You know, like more miles for me. And I still have all that, you know, furniture. It's nice, mm. but it's like you know, like having to like. You know, like think about this shit sucks. Right. You know, is the largest purchase you ever made after you sold the cars to buy the crib, or is it like the Patek or probably? I mean, I got this cheap in 2018. All things considered, did you like get that from a distressed seller? Like it was a guy. No, I got it from a it? Uh, fucking Israeli uh, jeweler in Beverly Hills. Box Fire. and papes. No. Okay, there it is. Yeah, but it's real, obviously. Is it presumably? Okay. It's you're that, not you're the right. fucking diamond tester guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the gold tester. Yeah. 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 Uh, besides clothes, besides like, and besides your own business, what do you like to spend your hard-earned money on? Um, bills. Yeah. <laughs> you know? so besides the essentials, like, yeah. what do you, what do you, what's frivolous in your life right now? Um, I guess like going out to eat, you yeah. know, but like, I don't know, like. I don't have like a crazy like hobby. I'm not like I don't like collect Legos or anything. <laughs> You're not a gamer or whatever. Yeah, no, not really. You know, like I streetwear just, like, toys. Do you have any streetwear toys? Um, <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, I got the fucking Bape uh, Rubik's cube coming in the mail. Oh, nice. No, not really. <laughs> any Bape toilet paper? Um, no, but I do have Bape uh, Madronica chairs at the house still mm. because I just like didn't want to. Replace Were those really them. expensive? Um, I think they're worth like a thousand each. I probably should sell them. You probably buy, should you flip know, them yeah, for sure. Buy regular shit. You know? And buy a regular non-bape chair, please. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, <sighs> like the chairs we're sitting in right now. Like, they're I non-bape. Forget, I forget yeah. about it, and then like, like I, I think like, you know, I think like some like Zach Bia came to my house one time. And he's like, oh, bape chairs. And I was like, fuck. Dude. Damn, dude, you got like, roasted like, by Bia. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I was like, Damn, Bia yeah. got him. <laughs> yeah. That's my king, though. Yeah. yeah Shout absolutely. out Zach, he's friend a, of the show. He's a really nice guy. Legend. Yeah. Honestly, sure. the nicest guy, which is why he is Zach Bia. Yeah, exactly. You know, like people who don't That's know nice him don't realize that. You <laughs> no. know, like. But he really is like a, a genuinely amazing Truly. person. Beautiful well, look, soul. You're a fucking nice guy, and that's why we had you onto the only podcast that matters. Thank you for coming on. Before we get you out of here, yeah, Luke's NYC hitting its fucking stride. Uh, you. you are putting your stamp on the fucking resale world, on New York City. Um, we'd like to see you do even better than you already are doing. Mm. So if it's cool, we'd love to offer up some constructive criticism. Take it or leave it. Yeah, let's take highly, it. Highly, highly suggest you take it. Uh, how about this? So you're you're a pretty inked up guy, right? All right, mom. Cheeks? Yeah. Dick? Uh, no dick. No dick. Dick's do you think it get hard when you get tatted on the dick? Or no, do you... I think they probably want it soft so they can pull the skin taut. Okay. I was we, actually we talking... this conversation. I know, I know, but I think that we, I got it wrong. I have a memory. buddy who has his dick tatted. He was talking to me about it. I thought it depended on the meat. Like, if you're hung, you don't need to be hard. And if you're if you're just chilling... Like... Are you a shower or a grower? Yeah. yeah. I think that the, that Are you depends. a shower or a grower? Yeah. Uh, right. Lawrence is new to the tattoo game. Can you have you ever given tattoos and can you give Lawrence his next tattoo? Uh, I have not, but I can totally do it. Yeah, yeah. just get a gun, right? If well, you can buy them on Amazon and shit like the like, easy, yeah. No, no, for sure. Apparently, I think that like uh, the whole with a, with, a, with a used needle. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I want a tattoo. Only God can judge me right here on him. <laughs> that would be <laughs> very hard, very fucking bad for me. I would say <laughs> for the most part. As a Jew, you work for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't need to like be employed. Are you a chosen person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sick. Yeah. Well, sick. I'm I'm fucking cremation gang, so like I don't really care about. No, I'm you just know, like, about, are you yeah, Jewish? Yes, I'm yeah, Jewish. You're chosen. Yeah, I'll be in heaven. While He's circumcised. You're asking uh, his penis tattoo. Yeah, uh, I don't know anyway. how that affects it. If you if I if I allowed you to well, tattoo me, state. would I have some type of like store? Can I get a store credit? Like, do I get something you, out you of it? Can get a one time store credit. Okay, cool for like ten bones. Like 200, yeah. <laughs> oh, two hundred. All right. You get a Sean Weatherspoon Air Max tattooed on your foot. Oh my god, dude! I'd rather fucking eat glass. Okay, Luke. How about this, dude? This is some real constructive criticism. <laughs> like, mine you didn't was even two. Give me mine was you two. Didn't even give me constructive criticism. Well, you just it. asked if I would tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Continue to talk to me. Be a great viral moment for okay. the store. Yeah, yeah dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. Get those ten k followers back. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're a big fucking. You're a prophet, dude. You're up pondering your orb, seeing into streetwear and menswear and footwear's future what you need to do dude is capitalize on the resurgence of hashtag menswear and come to my crib and cash me out on all the dog shit flow i got over the years like all right. the worst stuff dude uh, i mean there are probably some shit i want in there how's the double, how's the double monk market yeah, going? The, the double monk market what the fuck is that you know there like a go. single monk strap shoe 
but there's the two buckles. I don't know what that is. If you, you ever like, see a realtor in Soho, look down at his yeah. feet. Oh, and it's the shoe. It's the shoe with the suit. It's like, the shoe that, like that looks the like weird, a weird, like the like the faux aging on the brown leather. Bro, and you shit. posted a boot that had a. It was a double monk. Oh yeah, boot okay, just, yeah. So imagine Those that. Those boots. A, Those didn't sell surprisingly. It's yeah, what no a, like shit, a. It's what a. It's what a knight of the round table. Would wear. Actually, have you guys ever been to Medieval Times? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. awesome. I want to go. It's on my another. Okay, so we're doing cuts Great. and slices, Hirsch lifers, and then we're going to Medieval Times. Yeah. That sounds like a you've lot never for been. One day. No, there's a pirate theme one in L. A. Too. That's like I think owned by the same people in Orange County. That's like across the street. The stage or whatever is a pool. Then I so think, it's on well, I water. It's, I think it's just a a, a ship. Oh, so it's like swashbuckling on deck. But I'm not eh. sure like what the um like you know jousting is like a pretty entrenched thing you know like what are pirates doing to sell their sword fighting Duel, yeah maybe Duel, no, uh yeah. swashbuckling i believe yeah. is the term okay. what are you eat what's the pirate themed food though um uh, grog yeah rum a lot of rum rum sure Captain a lot of, Morgan. A lot of uh, citrus <laughs> citruses yeah so you to battle the scurvy yeah, yeah, exactly. to battle the yeah. fish hpv <laughs> <laughs> just watch them rape and pillage like that's freaking yeah hardcore. that actually be kind of cool <laughs> dinner and a pillage <laughs> <laughs> dinner and watching them murder innocent yeah. civilians uh luke. uh luke where can the kids yeah. follow you where do you want to plug um at Luke's NYC, no underscore, you know, no anything with one bullshit. word on Instagram, on TikTok. Low key, elite Twitter follow. Um, yeah, true. Oh, uh, yeah. You're not yeah. going to plug your personal shit? Uh, at OG Luke Mook on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I don't think I have a personal TikTok. www.lukes.store. When's the e com coming? Um, yeah. Do we have a date on that? This month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm May. literally like, I'm In waiting May. for my payment processing shit to go through Let's and like figure go. that out. So if you're listening at home, bookmark it because it's coming ASAP. And I have like, I'm going to be doing like, you know, bi weekly drops, doing sales every week. Damn. Um, just like, I have a lot of really, really Should good price shit. Should price to move. And drop uh, the broom Addy one more time. 261 Broom Street. Pull up and fucking um, say what up to this guy. Come yeah. see me. I'm open one to seven you out. every day except Monday, Tuesday. I'm closed Monday, Tuesdays. Um, and. You know, OG Luke Mook on Grailed. If you know, if that's you're right. So inclined, you're still busting on that, right? I do all right. How much money do you think you put in Grailed's pockets every month? Nine uh, percent. Well, I know my figures. I'm probably putting four grand ish in their pockets every month. Not okay. bad, bro. Not That'll bad. keep the lights on for an office that nobody is occupying. I literally was. There, <laughs> I was there yesterday, and there was nobody inside. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, just, the post go. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to talk about, it, but the post go shit is fucking bizarre, bro. Um, yeah, it all is right. what it is. Okay, Luke. Cool. Thank you for coming. You're on. the best, bro. Thanks for having us. I appreciate the opportunity. To talk to y'all and have, you know, barstool sports dudes <laughs> and fucking, uh, <laughs> and, you know, people in their 30s who wish they weren't in their 30s. Exactly. Um, That's on the two hosts. And also, I think I would be remiss because I told everyone that I was going to talk shit on Greenpoint to y'all and I haven't really gotten an opportunity. Oh, well, so. we do have bonus content that we've got to tell you about. So maybe in the bonus content, okay. we can talk about yeah, We need like 15 more minutes yeah. and you okay. can yeah. oh. open up with some Greenpoint yeah. smack. All right, perfect. Chef, take us out.